Ah, and we're live. How's it going, everyone? I see Blitz, Sunlight, Moonshi, and the good old days in chat. If they can hear me, because stream's acting a little funky. Yeah, we are streaming, yeah? Yeah, streaming software is acting a little weird. How's it going, Blitz, Solar Knight, Moonshi, good old days? Hmm. Now you, yeah, I'm eating pizza. I have like one more slice left. Oh shit, I should have done that, but I didn't. Hang on, chat. I had to like uh, re-download Remember the Flowers, and I'm not sure if it has any of my old saves, so I might need to like just totally skip for like an hour. Remember the Flowers is a very long game. Hello, Gilded Archer. Alright, let's see if it has any of my old saves. It does. Cool. Saves a little early though, but that's pretty much the usual. Hello, Carlos Montiel, Choron. Oh, yeah, for those in the Patreon support. Sorry, there was no like preview today. I had to go to the DMV yesterday, so I am. So I'm like super behind on like everything. I usually upload like a preview of the next video coming out for well, like Fridays, the Patreon supporters, but uh, that didn't happen. Yeah. Sup? Yeah, Dogda. The character trailer. He's DLC, though. Though, I'm more inter interested in, uh... Uh, Hair of Inaba, because it's apparently an accident only kind of demon you can only get through a fusion accident, and it has better resistances than fucking Metatron, which is insane. It like either resists or it resists everything but light and dark, which it blocks. And because it's a fusion accident, you it ignores level. I mean, there are so many people who are just specifically going to be fusing stuff to try and get Inaba. Yeah, the hair of Inaba. Oh, and Master Duel, um, just more of this usual. There's an event going on right now. I'm honestly doing really good at it because the moment people see you drop any piece of like branded or Despia stuff, they just quit the fuck out. It's like, homie, I'm running branded Chimera. These aren't very good. Especially not with fucking, especially not when you don't have like half the illusion support. They should add those to, that to Master Duel already. Man. I I am like 
I do need to finish the gold dual pass because I do need UR materials because I'm like almost done with it. Wait, wait, wait. No, not Elden Ring. We're going to sell Medulchis. All right. I activate brand fusion. Yeah, it's very, I am uh, enjoying it because it's, uh, I guess it's weird. I guess this event's low power enough that like Chimera can actually like kind of compete. Cause I've been st mostly steamrolling the event. The only duel I really lost was cause I misplayed like an idiot. I tried uh, fusing into the, my other boss monster. What is it? I have maps to open right now. If you can't tell, uh, Chimera, the illusion beast from, uh, Guardian Chimera, two different archetypes. Would you believe that or not? And uh, I couldn't because I do wasn't paying attention to fusion materials because I'm dumb. Hmm, the weekly duel sounds kind of cool. Wish you bastard will had more events. I wish it also had a better tutorial. Fucking, I forget who MBT uploaded a video talking about like the problems with Yu-Gi-Oh. The shitty tutorial wasn't one. There also needs to be more fucking branded starters. Like, my God. I, like, never see branded stuff. There's my wrist brace. Pale Rider. Horse with a scythe. Well, instead of having a skeleton, it was just the horse. The horse got a scythe somehow. Hmm. Well, New Frontier is only an SR, and that is a great uh, going second card. Oh yeah, I had a, I forgot I got a fourth gazelle. I should, start, I should start just you. You should be able to hear me dismantling stuff, chat. Gaia prominence. Nope, I'm not using any Gaia monsters. Fuck out of here. Yeah, I, I so want a super poly. Oh, yeah. Fuck. Uh, I should play that. Yeah. I'm dismantling SR stuff right now, Chad. Ugh. I should so unhit sprites. And how are the different archetypes doing in the f dual triangle? Well, Triangle is a fun event, but they should go. Oh, fusions and synchros are like neck and neck. XEs are at 30%. <laughs> the fusion is barely up on synchros by like with a 168, 1680 versus one, uh, 179. 1679, but whatever. To remember the flowers, chat. I forgot to share the stream places. Three Testina? Gross. <laughs> you should just dismantle those. Testinas are like not not good. Interesting design, but just a fucking atrocious uh everything else. Wait, someone with a comment on the community post. I didn't even notice. Yeah. I, I could be playing Pearly right now. I'm just not. <laughs> I'm just more interested in Chimera right now. Like, if I finally got the fucking fusion stuff, let me, let me play. Let me have fun. Uh, RTF. Yeah. Do you think Brand should still be hit, chat? 
load. The fuck? Why did Renoir open? Uh oh. Uh oh. Do I have to check for a fucking update? It's up to date. Yeah, that's what RinP does when you're like trying to go to like a save in a point that doesn't exist. Did like some part of the like fucking uh file exchange? God. Uh, how do I f hurry up? And now I have to like fucking I don't know, man. Refs. We're gonna be here for a while. I know, but like. I don't know what's going on. That I don't know why that save isn't working. Either th th there's no fucking update to remember the flowers, or like the coding was fundamentally changed that it can't find my spot anymore. Now, oh yeah, there is a chapter select. Crafts. Man menu. Yes. Oh, cool. See the song name. Didn't we already see this? We did not see this? Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. It, it. Hang on. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Back to my menu. Yeah. Because I vaguely remember it starting on. It's. Uh, It started us right here. Somewhere like it. I'm stunned. Hang on. We should just fucking save right here because that save's not working. I'm left stunned at the man in front of me. The thing that's in front of me doesn't even look human, let alone alive. Look at him smiling, a smug ass smile. Presenting Darius Ismail Octavio in all of his glory. A mechanical voice echoes out from the corpse-like body. That's enough. Back to your post. Dario bows. Of course, your majesty. I hear Dario's footsteps as he walks away, but my eyes are fixated on Dario's. A chill runs down my spine as he finally addresses me. Spoopy. Shish spoopy. Okay, that's a thing. That's just something drawn on the thing, not like a thing on my computer screen. Welcome, Lance Krager. Tell me, how has Cyrus Cantwell been? Departure. Can't even comprehend what he just asked me. I'm frozen and say nothing. And right in front of me is Darius. Same Darius I swore to kill all those years ago. This what you're gonna go bang, bang, bang. Now he's my employer. He's as old as they say, like a mummy hooked up on life support. When he moves his head to look up at me, I jump. Seems someone is at a loss for words. Not that I can blame you. He, he's now Gale, what? It's not often that I entertain guests these days. Hope you can make yourself at home. Hollow. That's the best how I can describe how he sounds. Not in his direction. I'm sure if he can see me with that thing on his head. Doesn't hesitate to continue speaking. Ew. There's no need to feign respect, Lance. I've seen all I need to know about you and your files. Lifting a finger, a screen projects from one of his armrests. I'm told you're hot-headed and tenacious, and yet you stand there so still. Is, th is it that you're afraid of me? Yeah, you look fucking creepy, dude! <laughs> I can feel my snout twitch. Is he trying to provoke me? Go on. Speak your mind. He's arrogant as all the stories I've heard of him. He's as arrogant as all the stories I've heard about him. 
I didn't get this far in life by being stupid. Well, mostly. I ought to get myself killed just for speaking out of turn. I see. What a cautious creature. Oh, you glow. That's spoopy. Sure, whatever you want to call it. I ask once again, how is Cyrus doing? Cyrus? I wouldn't know. I haven't seen him in months. That's not that long ago. I read the reports, but I wish to hear it directly from you. Humor an old man. He was a good friend once upon a time. That didn't stop you from strapping him down and going all pokey pokey and shit at him. I guess I could say the same. I think back to the little time. Fucking chat, give me a second. My dog is going, losing his fucking mind. I forgot to turn on my mic. I muted it. Yeah. That's what's going on, Chad. I forgot. My dog, as I said, my dog is mad at uh, the direct clothes dryer. That's what he's barking at. As expected from one of our top doctors, at least at the time. One of our, wait, does he mean? How the mighty have fallen. What a shame. Doris must like to hear the sound of his own artificial voice. Don't respond unless he asks me something. He had such, such potential, but as it goes, he turned out to be just another failure. You're aware of our relationship, are you not? Not exactly, no. You could call him a colleague of mine. We are both alive during the global announcement of the Seven Stars. It was centuries ago, but I remember it vividly. They say they were as beautiful as they were deadly. Cyrus and I had an argument over whom we should be saving. Eventually, swigged me into making 15 large shelters, though there was rigorous screening in order to enter. When the select few were allowed in, it was, the, it was for them the progress of medicine, after all. Gross. There was no need to bring in those who serve no purpose to our cause. Never did quite understand my vision. Naturally, our partnership could not last. And yet you kept them around, is that right? I did. He was working with one of our top scientists back before the fall. To show my gratitude for his cooperation, I promised to make sure he survived. I did just what I said I would, but it wasn't enough for that boy. Remember this well, Lance Krager. I never break my promises. Spoopy! Yeah, yeah, so you leave all his loved ones to die and he gets all mad at you. <laughs> he, it was all mo a fucking... I don't know Walking Dead, but that sounds like a funny reference. <laughs> I gulp. The fur on my neck rises. A voice in the back of my mind is yelling at me to run away. Cyrus knew what he signed up for. He, un he, un he willingly gave his body for science. I couldn't have been prouder. But instead of taking advantage of his newfound immortality, he instead chose to hold, hold an immature grudge. It still leaves a bad taste in my mouth. You left his family to die, man. What the fuck do you expect him to do? That's not just the thing you walk off. Just think of the thousands of lies he could have saved if he only had cooperated and saw the bigger picture. As it were, being at the top of the medic medicinal field meant nothing to him. What a selfish boy. And now he's on the run, 
and impeding my plans yet again. Now I shifts ever so slightly in the seat, which leads me to you. He was so thrilled to see he wasn't lost for I was so thrilled to see he wasn't lost forever. As quickly as he was taken from me, he was found. This is Darius, old boss, the OG boss of fucking. I think their name is Current. Resume, yeah, Resume. Who's fucking on fucking the same life support pain life support systems pain was you know in Naruto, wrinkly old man pain. Clement thought he could hide his blunder. It's only a shame the resistance reached him before I could. I can feel my eye twitch. I will give him credit where it's due, trying to fool us into thinking a different pristine carrier had been captured. Good effort, I would say. Luckily, you were there to fix his mistake, Lance. Keetra Kun. Hello! His compliment catches me off guard. Yes, I guess I was just in the right place at the right time, sir. Indeed. Dario already briefed you on your mission, new mission, correct? Yes, sir. <sighs> Repeat it back to me. I, uh, am to capture Cyrus and bring him back to Razoon. Correct. This is top priority. I to bring Cyrus back to his containment cell. I will see to it that he never has the opportunity to leave again. He will fulfill his promise to me, whether he wants to or not. It's only fair. The hell is wrong with this living corpse? I don't mean to interrupt you, sir, but may I ask about my compensation? What's that? Considering Cyrus's organization is top priority, I feel like I'm entitled to something of equal value. Mm, how about this, then? Once I confirm Cyrus has been properly strained, we will transfer 600,000 plumes directly to you. I'm going to grab my teeth. Recognize that number. Is he toying with me? With all due respect. I uh, only chess. Cyrus is much more, worth much more than that. Once would, one would think shelter and allowance would be enough. Feel free to give us any amount you wish for, I suppose. Don't know what to say in this situation. I don't even want to be part of this mission. I'm only going to be so far in here. I'm bound to be on Cyrus' head of all people. I know what I want, but I'm not sure yet. I need time to think about it. Very well. Is it vital that he? It is vital that he was turned to where he belongs. Dario, more like Mario. I have no doubt. You no doubt had a clear look at my disposition, have you not? It's hard not to. I mean, as long as I have, take its fair share of consequences. This body's not. This body's not the only thing to have withered away. Even si No. Oh my God. Shut up! We're not restarting the fucking computer right now. Gosh, the human psyche is so fragile and pointless. So I would guess you, my emotions have dulled away over the centuries, but to my advantage. Love, hatred, joy, anger, sadness. I'm above such petty and useless things right now. Yeah, we got an update pop up. I put it on snooze. Fuck that. However, boredom is something that still plagues me. As such, I look forward to seeing more reports from you, Lance. You could be quite entertaining. I haven't known him that long, but I'm already tired of this man. I now have accepted that I'm fucked. I can't run from resume no matter what I do. This is my life now. What is money worth if I can't be free? Then, can I ask one more thing? You may. Why are you putting so much trust in me to find Cyrus? I don't have anything to lose at this point. It'd be easy to lead you all on, all on in order to... Ugh. It'd be easy to lead you all on just to protect myself. I'm trapped here, after all. If you kill me, no one would care, but killing me means you have considerably less chances to find Cyrus. Why don't you answer me that, old man? Darius doesn't respond, and an eerie silence fills the room. I, can gauge it. I can't gauge his emotions at all. Not this corpse. But the silence continues, and now I'm becoming irritated by this man. There's zoom and all its machinations. I'm right here, aren't I? There's no amount of money you can offer me. Freedom. What? And it's this mission that fool Clement gave you before he perished. In exchange for Cyrus Canwell, I promise. I promise you, Lance Krieger, complete freedom. That would mean removal of your Arcadia collar, of course. Damn. Damn, he nailed you like he nailed you like a fucking Jesus to the cross, my god. <laughs> To put it simply, I'm asking you to finish the mission you started. Oh, wow, dang. Rough time to get an ad. To put it simply, I'm asking you to finish the mission you started. He's joking. 
just like that. I'm feel my throat go dry, but I push through it. Are you crazy? You would let me go despite everything I know. Lance, you're a man with no affiliations, no connections, no loyalty. You have no power here, I'm afraid. I could take what I know to the press once I'm gone and reveal everything. It does not appear you understand. Let me present you with another quandary. Who would believe the word of a man who has committed crime after crime even before joining the faction? If you already betrayed the resistance, you would have betrayed Resume as well. You have nothing and you have no one. You said it yourself, correct? Lance, there's been like five more credit. <laughs> yeah, that's true. It's like, dude, dude, who the fuck would believe you? You're just a guy. That's not what I meant. Who do you have? Your comrade Benjamin and that girl, whatever name she goes by now. They live in ignorance. Neither one of them knows the real person behind the mask. You're not a victim here. You're simply paying for your mistakes. Well, my fist so hard, it feels like it might bleed. Stop. You live to survive. That's why you have committed so many atrocities until now. Nothing but a rat scrounging for its next meal. Don't make me laugh. Death is not on your agenda. Find me that boy and you are free to wander that desolate world once again as you please. Otherwise, you will remain under my control for the rest of your days. This man is an absolute pall of evil. If there is nothing else you may leave. I've already briefed Dario on our meeting. Yes, sir. Turn my heel eager to get away from this decrepit man. Oh, but before you go, let me give you one piece of advice. Stop my tracks. Back turn to him. You'd be wise to reconsider everything, even ever trying to revoke me again. I'll forgive you this time. But heed my warning. If ever attempt to impede my operations, I'll see to it you'll never live and pe live a life of peace again. Freedom always comes with a price, after all. Never forget this. Now be gone. After a moment, I continue walking towards the entrance. I forgot how, like, how much just doing vision novels dries out my fucking throat. Like, my god. The elevator door opens. I'm greeted by Dario once again as he started a descent. Spoopy, scary, uh, mommy mad. Cyrus, your hope will be mine soon enough. Dario stands there with that shit-eating grin I've already become so familiar with. Without a word, I step inside and stand next to Dario. Despite trying to regain my composure, my heartbeat is off the charts. My hands are shaking. I shove them into my pockets to try and hide the fact. It's silent for a few moments before Dario speaks up. So, how did it go? Look at your axiom. He's a, I see said he already told you. I'd have heard to hear it from you. It's not every day that Dad calls someone to his office. Look at Dario, his aura of smugness, not unlike Artemis. If I, ever, if I never have to see him face to face again, it'll be too soon. Dario burst out into laughter. I'm not surprised. Most people heave when they see me, old man. I don't blame them. Take it you're not particularly I take it you're not particularly close. Isn't it obvious? I'm no more important to him than you are, or anyone else for that matter. Dario shrugs. In public, I'm just his puppet. Anything says it eh, anything I say to the people comes directly from him. They think Daddy Dearest has long since passed. A martyr for years to come. Ah, Lance and his classic mistakes. I was gonna fuck up this time, chat. He points up at the ceiling of the elevator. Meanwhile, he just sits up on his throne like a god, like the god he thinks he is. He's got them all fooled. My god, huh? Per dad's orders, you're now a ranking member of the Fraction. Joy. Once King is out of the medical world, <laughs> once King is out of the medical world, ward, ward, you'll be following him. At work, Dario holds his finger to my snout to stop me from talking. But he wants to bite it off, and I'm not afraid to show it on my face. You know, remind you where you are. You don't get to make all the decisions anymore. You work for us now. You need to act like it. Besides, I'm sure you and King will get along great. So I have the hand in his hand away, and why is that? You both like to cut loose and do things on your own terms. It's not exactly my own terms if you're the ones telling me to do it. Get used to it. This is reality. Damon starts to type on his axiom. My own eventually beeps. 
There's this month's pay. As a member of the fraction, you get paid in plumes now instead of that useless currency. Feel free to buy whatever you want. That's a freedom you still have. Like father, like son, tell me what I do and don't have. What can I say? It runs in the family. The elevator dings, singing our stomp. Great Darth Vader, I'm calling an outline. is going to talk about the last one to redeem his horrendous actions. Yeah, maybe. Totally, I half expect him to just, like, fucking, at some point to reach, at, at a certain point, to reach a breaking point, just tell Benji, like, dude, just run from resume. Just run. Everything they have, everything they say, everything they do, it's bullshit. Just run. There lets himself out first, to which, to which I begrudgingly follow. As much as I'm having fun with you, I do have a meeting with Artemis right about now. Keep in touch, Wolfie. We're going to be working together for the foreseeable future. Don't remind me. Don't forget about poor subject. Poor little subject, though, too. And she's been missing you. She said that? Well, not to me personally. The security cameras in her room tell us plenty. You're disgusting. Very well, Lance. You'll see me again soon. Dario gives me one last smirk, walks away, leaving me alone. Start making my way through the halls, still a bit shaken from my encounter with Darius. I don't know, I imagine he's not, uh, he was not, like, created normally. Probably artificial insemination to be totally, to be totally practical. Or maybe even a clone, that sounds like something, uh, Resume would have. Oh yeah, we can clone people, dude, it's hot. So I'm making my way through the halls, still a bit shaken when I encounter Darius. Now I finally have a moment to absorb what he told me earlier. I knew Cyrus was important to resume, but I never would have guessed in a million years he used to work with Darius. Who are you, Cyrus? Did you really regain your memories? Is it Cyrus that I knew still in there? Does he remember me? With this new mission, I'll likely get my answers soon enough. But knowing what he's capable of now, this will be anything but simple. Think back to that day, the last time I saw him. I feel a pit in my stomach. Still burning my memory. A look of betrayal on his face when I... No, I have to get the hell out of here. Cyrus, there will come a day when you, where you and I cross paths again. And that day comes, I can't promise anything good will come of it. Spoopy! Shush spoopy! My pussing f little... My pacing footsteps echo throughout the halls of the underground base as I head towards Aaron head towards Aaron's room. I to myself out of anxiety. My first mission is coming up. I have to tell him sooner or later. So you're anxiously at the door down the hall. It's the room that Aaron has been recovering in. You dig finally gave me the go ahead to visit him. Assuming he's already talked to Titania, he must know, he must know by now I've joined the resistance. Curious how he reacted. Was he happy? Mad? Sad? I think he's on fucking probation, man. They were not happy with him. Not to mention he's still not at 100%, but I don't want to cause him more stress. But he's a resilient guy. He should be fr he should be fine, right? Ugh. Well, well, if it isn't the ghost of Resume. I forget who that is. My concentration is broken by a familiar voice greeting me. Oscar and Stan walk over from the side of the other side of the hallway. Yay! You look like the guy- Yeah, fucking hang on. You look like the uh, final fucking hero or whatever in um Anomaly Collapse. And you look like Lincoln Rock. Oh, hey, it's you two. It's been a while. You're telling me. Might as well live somewhere else without how often they send me out. Don't complain. We get paid big. We got paid big this time. Is that all you think about? It's not all I think about. Just mostly. Jeez. Anyway, what are you doing? Dogman could hear hear could hear you from a few halls away. Ah, oh, sorry about that. I'm just trying to decide what I'm going to say to uh what's her name for Aaron? Tusk? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I heard he got hurt real bad recently. Stan clamps Oscar, shouts, little snout shut. Keep your voice down. Something happened? You could say that. Not sure how much I'm allowed to share. You get ambushed while traveling. I think he's doing better. You think? Hmm. Hmm. Oscar tries to talk as if Stan isn't holding his mouth shut. Part 7, Stan. Be more specific. I should really keep up with part fucking 9, I think? 
Uh, I should probably binge it at some point. Fuck, I don't know. I haven't seen him since it happened. Stan chuckles. Didn't take you for the nervous type. Only when it's appropriate. I'm just not sure what to say. How about, uh, hey, how are you feeling? How about, uh, hey, how are you feeling? It's not that hard. Oh, Tusk. Oh, okay. I see, I see, I see. It's complicated. I'm pretty sure I got him. Pretty sure I got him in trouble. Hmm. Hmm. Mm -mm. Shut up, phone. God. Never be quiet. Oh, glad I decided to log into this like because I apparently didn't do it today. Oof. He promised to keep your voice down. Oscar tries extra hard to not to stand the request. Then let's go of the husky snout. In my opinion, the longer you wait, the worse it'll be. If I knew I was in the hospital, I'd be bummed out if my friends didn't come to visit me. It's not that I don't want to visit him, it's just, I don't know. Pretty sure I got him in trouble. Trouble with, like, Titania and stuff, you know? She was not very happy. <laughs> like, oh, that little idiot did what? <laughs> it's not that I, uh, wait. Oscar gasped. What? Are you trying to, like, you know? He leans to the whisper, but it's more like quiet yelling. Confess. I pause. Face starts to feel warm. Oh, yo, it always wears me out when humans blush. Wait, what? I was just joking around. You really are going to confess the tusk? That's so cute. I believe in you, Cyrus. They'll say yes. For sure. Just watch. Hey, hey, it's not like that exactly. I'm sorry, so I was an asexual. I'm pretty sure this will be an NSFW visual novel. Well, as much as I'd love to watch the soap opera play out, we do have to get going. Damn, damn, meeting, damn meetings. Cyrus, text me later. You know, you gotta tell me what happens. Stan starts to push Oscar down the hall. Oscar waves back at me. Good luck. I said keep it down. I don't necessarily let it lost. I was talking about the fact that he didn't, they didn't even dye like Cyrus's hair. And it's like, they, 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 they made it obvious that you're a pristine carrier. Come the fuck on. Like did uh, Iron just not do like rule, like rule one. Of, like, fighting a new pristine carrier? Dye their fucking hair? Bickering fades off in the distance. Fades off in the next hallway. I'm left alone in front of Aaron's room. Again. You know, you probably could hear you talking outside of it. Doesn't he have, like, cat ears? Is he just, uh, kitty powers? Take a deep breath and then grab the handle of the sliding door. I did. I need to do the cube miracle. I always put that off because I fucking hate it. All right. How bad can it be? Is he going to be going through like major surgery right now? Cause it can be pretty bad. Tempting fate. Aaron is sitting comfortably in his hospital bed. He's reading a book. I recognize it easily by the one governor. Cover. cover. It's the one he was reading when he first met. Size of bandages around his neck and arms. He doesn't look too bad. He's standing in the door long enough for him to notice me. Hmm. He's actually got bandages and stuff. We just stare at each other. It's the boy. Uh, hey. Aaron smiles sheepishly before closing his book, trying to avoid eye contact. Hey, can I come in? No, right. Why are we giving them Sonic character voices? Wasn't he big to kid? Aaron seems hesitant. Uh, sure. Thanks. I grab a nearby chair and then pull it up to Aaron's bed. He isn't looking at me. So... Knowing so many things to talk about, I freeze. Not sure where to start. God damn it. 
This light fucking sucks. I hate its PvP. I fucking hate its PvP. God. Such a crapshoot whether or not you'll win. Seems more about farming than, uh, like, skill, and it pisses me off. Like, who has the most time to dedicate... Imagine if in, like, fucking Elden Ring, well, it was who had the most time to dedicate to farming the right weapon. Yeah. I'm playing, uh, whatchamacallit? Mmm... Uh, AFK Arena, and it has a lot of similarities to uh, Dislight in like the worst ways, mainly its PvP system, which is fucking ass. But I tolerate it. Awkwardly look around the room, and no, there is another medical ward wing here. Ah, uh, the whole hallway is the main hospital for the base. Really? Why haven't I been here? They didn't have, they don't have the experience to treat someone who's escaped the responsibility. Who's escaped? That responsibility falls to Vita. Oh well, it's oh, well, it's nice. Glad they, uh, glad they gave you a good room. Works of being a leader, or so I'm told. Are you still a leader? Because they were pretty mad at you. I see. Glad you seem to be doing well. Hmm. Tiger's acting different with crossed arms. Everything okay? Aaron shrugs before fi finally looking at me. He raises his brow at me before opening his eyes. Ooh. So it's true then. Points to my neck. Oh, I guess I have to get used to this too. Yep. He's a fucking dude now. Best guy to you, Jillian. To old to those systems you just have to make. Yep, pretty much. Granted, there's not even one in um uh, Live a Hero either. And that one's not nearly as old. I guess I guess uh, Life Hunters just doesn't want to do PvP. I guess that's something they don't want to try balancing. Oh, I guess I have to get used to this too. Uh, yeah, it's an Arcadia color. Makes sense that you makes sense that you already know. I had my meeting with Tanya. Looks like I'm part of the resistance now. Yay, got on you. That's what I heard. Don't sound too excited. They also give you limited refreshes in AFK Journey, which is dumb. For like refreshes for the PvP thing. Like ugh, ugh. The Glizzy Guzzler, the second reincarnation of Mrs. Reagan. Nancy Reagan. Wait, sorry, I mean, that's awesome. Congratulations. It's just that, you know, I'm sorry. Or what? Hey, it's okay. I was just joking. What's up? You seem tense today. Cyrus, I... I... I want fraud watch. Uh, Aaron looks away. Oh, God. How are you feeling? Me? Well, I'm a bit nervous. I have my first mission to prepare for. And I'm on first mission to prepare for, and... I mean, like, physically. How bad were you hurt after, you know? Do they? I've never played AFK Arena. I'd kill before you, any of you could get me into that. I mean, like, yeah. Um, well, I had a few broken ribs and internal bruising, which wasn't fun. You did fix me up pretty good, I think. You don't have a sh you don't have to sugarcoat it. It was bad, wasn't it? Not really, honestly. All things considered, not really. Not really. I mean, I'm a doctor. I know what I know what pain and stuff looks like. I was fine. Chill. It's my fault that you got hurt in the first place. Can't believe how stupid I was. That statement takes me back. Wanna give him a little smooch? Aaron, what happened wasn't your fault. You couldn't have known the goons would be there. Eh. Odie. I have Odie and Shakir and the fucking dude with the tiny little rat thing. The scent sprayer. 
the Musk dude, the the that special five star. That was genuinely just genuinely just a lucky pull from the like regular gotcha banner. Yeah, Smokey and Mearly or whatever the fuck his name is. I don't know. But it was my phone. I, uh, uh, if I didn't get sidetracked, if I didn't leave you alone, none of this would have happened. Can't blame you can't blame yourself. It was out of your control. It was entire. It was entirely my fault. And raises his voice. Ah, fuck. I was the one who brought you to that shithole. I was the one who left you there by yourself. Something had happened to you. I. How the hell could I live with myself? Oh God. And covers his face with the right paw. Gosh, all are so. We're a bunch of sad sacks, you know. How can I call myself a leader? I can't be this incompetent. What's wrong with me? A lot. Yeah, the models aren't very effective. But I but I've gone, but I honestly for uh for like getting furries, my pulls have been pretty good. I've got Shakir, uh Smoky and Mealy, or whatever the fuck their name their name is, and Odie. Yeah. The only five like furry five stars I'm missing are well, the Rhino and Brutus, but everyone's getting Brutus, and I don't particularly care about the Rhino because he's apparently like bottom tier. So, mm. I can't keep a single person safe on my watch, dude. Chill. I don't even wear a watch. I did a funny chat. Please laugh. He's visibly trembling and clawing his left paws digging deep into the bed sheets. Don't do that. Yeah, I like Shakir, but he doesn't work too well with Smokey because, like, he basically just runs out of the buff area. You should be furious with me, Cyrus. How can you trust me after this? Dude, why are y'all all like this? I really should do the temporal tower. Okay, that's enough. Quit it with the sad sack stuff. You look it's lame and not hot. <laughs> okay, that's enough. I'm not used to interrupting people, let alone Aaron. But maybe this is the right time to confront my feelings about what happened. Yeah, he got fucked up by the rhino. It was very funny. Let him keep going. I have to speak up. Okay, I won't sugarcoat it. Maybe I am being too nice about this. Corporate cure. You mean Hugh in? Or whatever her name is. She's apparently one of the best healers in the game. So you should use her. I was actually playing AFK Journey before stream. Uh, so I, because I was finishing that Dreamlands battle or whatever the fuck it's called. Okay, I won't sugarcoat it for you. Maybe I am being too nice about this. For your sake, I'll tell it to you straight. You made a bad call. Actually, several bad calls. You left me alone in a lawless city without even thinking about what could happen. You could have at least warned me about what to watch out for, like these collars. And flinches at my reprimands, he slumps down, get weighing on his shoulders. Got lucky, it could have ended so, so much worse. But here's the thing, I'm fully aware of what I was getting myself into. I should have trusted my gut and ran the moment they appeared. I try to give people the benefit of the doubt, despite everything that's happened to me. I think I'd be more cautious now. It's 
Stop trying to blame yourself. I'm the one that brought that brought you, who brought you into that danger. Oh, st oh, that's Aaron. Stop trying to blame yourself. I'm the one that brought you into that danger. God, I fucking hate this stupid gamble um event and um dislike. It's literally just gambling. Like, I have no idea whether or not you'll win anything. You just have to. It's just a fucking crapshoot. And yet you still jumped in to and tried to save me, like you always do. Listen, I'm not mad at you. I never was. Tanya, though, I'm pretty sure she's like she's like fucking pissed. You, 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 you're on like probation, man. I'm just relieved that you're safe and that you were able and that we were able to make it out alive. Here, look at me. Do I look worse for wear? Aaron slowly cracks his right eye open between his fingers. What do you think? Kyle looks good on me, right? He chuckles nervously before sliding his paws off his the paw off his face. Look, if we hadn't dealt with those guys, I probably wouldn't have landed this job with re the resistance. You're talking about the load stars. I heard it. That's right. Here's an old saying. Even when you fall flat on your face, you're still moving forward. It's okay to make mistakes, Aaron. Just means you're human. Or, well, Catman. Or, well, Beastman, but you get it. This is more than just a mistake. This was more than just a mistake, Cyrus. You can say angry at yourself, but I've already forgiven you. I smile at him. You know, ever since we took that trip back to my old house, I've started looking at everything differently. Being a little gay boy. You found those letters and something changed. The future feels brighter. And you did that for me, Aaron. How can I ever be mad at the person that makes me happy to be alive? Yay! He looks like he wants to cry, but he's holding himself back. What I'm trying to say is, I'm learning to look at the silver lining more these days. Here, give me your paw. What for? Just do it, please. Hmm. Aaron holds his massive paw out in front of me. From my best to wrap my pinky finger around his. Though his is a lot thick, th thicker. That's what she said. Hey. Promise me you'll move on from this. Aaron has a somber expression on his face. I know this world is a scary place, but I'm ready to experience it. I appreciate that you're so dedicated to protecting me, but I want to protect you too. Take a deep- that's what she said, Law. That's what she said. And that's because I love you, and You mean a lot to me. Oh my gosh, gay boys. Gay boys! Oh my gosh, these niggas gay! Good for them! So please take care of yourself and, st mm -hmm. yourself and stop worrying about me. Now quickly head out the room before you can respond. Instead of shaking my pinky, Aaron gently covers my paw with his, with my hand with his paw. Now I, I, thank you, Cyrus. I didn't mean to make you worry. Same to you. Just know that I'm here for you, okay? Okay. You mean a lot to me. I'm really lucky to have a friend like you. You see me as more than a, you see me as more than a leader, and more than my past. There aren't many people like that in my life. Don't really believe. I don't really have the option to be vulnerable in front of them. I nod. Aaron takes a deep breath and sighs. You said you want me to move on, but the truth is, I think that's always been my problem. Hmm? There has been something I've been meaning to bring up. I've just been too afraid to say it. And that is, I have no plans for the day. Do you want to just sit here and talk? I'd like that. 
I wouldn't. All right, what's on your mind? How do I put this? Since I've been out, I've had all this time to just lay down and think about things. A lot of things. The biggest thing is that I think it's time I should move on. Back in Golden Requiem, I received a notification from an informant, a possible tip regarding Xavier. Turns out that was just a fluke. I looked into the wrong person. So it was about Xavier. Capstick. While I was wasting time on that, you are in trouble. It's all because I let my mind get clouded thinking about Xavier. I told myself it would be real quick. It would be fine. Hell, I should have called Silver, Silver Karen to keep watch. But I finally thought I had something. Anything. Just the tiniest glimmer of hope after all the radio silence. Maybe there was a chance I could finally see him again. Don't even know if he's alive anymore. I still love him. I do. But after what happened, I had to take a st step back and really think about everything. Even when we rescued you, I was too lenient. It's no wonder Kanto and Karen were on my case before. There's no room for a leader like me, needlessly putting others' lives at risk. And so I finally come to this conclusion. Is he going to step down? I need to focus on what's right in front of me and put my team first. Part of that is accepting that Z Xavier might really be gone. Losing my hand with his paw. I don't want to lose you, but my feelings for you are complicated. That's part of why I've been struggling so much these past few days. Well, it's good to know I'm not the only one struggling with this. What do you mean? Well, <clears throat> what do you mean? Back in my hometown, I decided it was time for me to move on from my past, too. I include moving on from Damien. He was everything to me. He said to keep going and not to hold myself not to hold myself back for his sake. Yeah, he was kinda fat. Guess we're more like than I thought, huh? If only they could see us now. If I'm not percent sure not percent sure Vivian or whatever her name is. I'm still alive and Damien is in your head. And she basically scratches the side of his cheeks. You mean what you said? You love me? I do. Yay. He hesitates. Cyrus, I like you a lot. I've had some feelings for you for a while. It's just, I'm not really sure. You gotta work out your own feelings with Xavier. Like I said, it's complicated. Right, that's okay. Is it? I mean, even if nothing comes from it, you're still my best friend. Aaron starts to grumble to himself. Yeah, this far might not be the most healthy relationship. Well, now I feel... Well, now I feel guilty. I'm not... I've just stopped been doing that voice. Well, now I feel guilty. I wish I had figured this out sooner. Don't worry. I probably should have put the more thought into my confession. Scratch behind my head with my free hand. It's part of the moment decision, but now I have to deal with the fact that my feelings are out there. Maybe it's best if we just told off on this. Give each other time to think about it. Doesn't mean we can't try again later. Yeah, of course. We smile at each other. Yay! Though the tension should be broken, my chest alerts the guilt I've kept hidden away. The nagging feeling in my gut that's been pregnant at me for months. Your boyfriend's watching you hit on another man. Truth is, I didn't come here just to confess my feelings, but I don't think there'll be a good time to tell him this. Take a deep breath. Um, listen, I also have something I've been meaning to bring up, but I can never find the right time. Huh? When I got my memories back, I was still a bit cautious of all of you. I did keep one thing to myself. Back when I was still in Resume, I vaguely remember hearing someone mention the name Xavier. Near shattered gas from Air Escape Aaron. There you go. He stares at me, most slightly gape. The nurse gossiped the nurses gossiped a lot. A lot gurst god look, gossiped a lot. I heard a conversation between a few of them. I'm positive I heard the name <laughs> Xavier come up. Context wasn't too pretty though. One time, they dropped by the intending room I was being held in to check my vitals. Ooh, flashback. Yeah, did you hear? They mentioned find that one carrier that escaped recently. Oh, is that so? What was their name? Xavier? I'm pretty sure I ran tests on him a long time ago. I hope should, consi should consider themselves lucky. Hardly ever find them once they've escaped. This wouldn't be an issue in the first place if they hired proper security. I'm not so sure about that. I'm afraid there are informants working covert covertly in Resume. That's likely why they've had so many escapees in recent years. 
You didn't hear that from me. I feel like you can't trust anyone anymore. All we can do is keep our heads low now. Tell you one thing, no one will ever see that boy again. What do you mean? Everyone ever escape these or return, they're locked away in the deepest confines of Resume. Even I don't have clearance for those areas. Oh my, what do they do with him? I want to know. Resume becomes their coffin, so to speak. Resume sounds kind of scary, if I'm being honest. I've never been to main headquarters before. I'm sure you will eventually. Don't worry. It's actually quite beautiful inside and out. I see. So casual. Sorry, maybe it's all just rumors. Maybe he is still alive and okay. I can't know for sh that for sure. Just never said anything to anyone because they started to learn how close you and Xavier were. The more I get to know you, the more dangerous it felt. I didn't want you to do something reckless. Aaron, finally, let's, let's go with my hand on his back. The rest is head against the pillow. He says quiet for a while, but he's smiling. So I can see a bit of sadness behind it. Aaron? Thanks for telling me, Cyrus. Si Thanks for telling me, Cyrus. Maybe you were right to keep it from me all this time. Look at what happened to us. I was got you killed because of it. And sighs and stares up the ceiling longingly. Xavier would be so angry with me if you know I put others in danger for his sake. He pauses for a moment and takes a deep breath before looking back at me. Just another thing for me to think about while I'm in, on probation, I guess. Wait, what? I knew it! I called it! Ha! Ah. Oh, right. Oh, right. Of course you wouldn't know. As a few days ago, I've officially been placed on temporary leave. Donnie was furious with me when I told her what happened, but I think she understood when I explained myself. Of course, she couldn't overlook my mistakes either, and it's my punishment. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. I feel like it's not my fault. It's alright. Shit. Uh, yeah, I'll undo, undo Aaron's character growth. Yeah, but, mm, mm, I don't know. Baron supposed to be, was supposed to be a tragic character. I could definitely see that being the correct option to choose. Depends on what kind of game, uh, what kind of story you're trying to tell. It's all right. She told me that you were the one who snitched on me, though. She did. It's all right. You, she did tell me you were the one who snitched on me, though. I gulp and Aaron chuckles. I deserve it. Don't worry, Cyrus. I'm a little surprised she made you go underground, considering your injuries. Oh, actually, she came here. To my utter shock and surprise. Wait. You mean she came to your room? Up to the higher levels of the base? You're kidding me! And after she went on a whole rant to me about how she never left her room. And after she went on a whole rant to me about how she never left her room. Hey, I was surprised too. She wasn't taking the situation lightly, it seems. Oh. What are you even drawing, anyway? I'm not sure if I should be happy for her, or concerned. I wonder what that's all about. I was so nervous, I didn't even think to ask. That's, wow. Fucking Spongebob rap. Snitches part two. Snitch, well, snitch tendencies part two. Go listen to it, chat. I guess you're on, but I guess you're on, but I guess you're the one I should blame for my scare of a lifetime, huh? Uh, don't let it go. Only because you must have made a good first impression to get hired. I'm proud of you. Good first impression might not be the best way to describe it, but... Damn, throat's so dry. I really gotta fucking refill my water bottles at some point. Diner scene, my deal. What, what, uh, nice. I'm, guess, I'm assuming it's also a furry diner. Thanks, it was definitely nerve-wracking, but it was worth it. I guess I don't know. I get. <sighs> I feel a little more relieved now. Seems Aaron has calmed down a bit. <clears throat> so, how do you feel about your first mission? Hang on, chat. I'm gonna fucking refill my water bottles and turn on the AC. What poll should I ask? What, what's the poll? Give me some ideas, chat. Oh, it's my, I think the more important thing about the load stars is that they can f hack into. Oh, uh, uh, what are they called? Axioms. I'm a little nervous, to be honest, but I'm also excited. I won't see you for a while. I think that's the part I'm most worried about. Yo, give me a poll ideas, chat. Well, I'm, I'm about to leave. 
like a hot minute. Oh, but we both look at each other with steep, sheepish expression. With a sheepish, like, sheepish expression. Ugh. Six months is a pretty long time, isn't it? Hmm. There, that's the Q and A. Answer that question while I go get myself a drink. I'm back. I refilled both of my sippy cups. Also, hello, Keebling. I think that's how you say your name. I also turned on the goddamn AC. Yeah. <clears throat> I was serious when I said I had to move on. I need to accept what I'm feeling in the present, and my feelings for you are very real.
I blush a little. I know it's well in advance, but how about this? When you get back from your mission, why don't we go on our first date? Choke my own spit. Gay boys. Pardon? Ah, maybe that was too forward. Ah, maybe that was too forward. I'm, I'm just joking, half joking, just trying to lighten the mood. Hmm. Yeah. And at least where I am, it gets both hot and cold, so we need to actually have AC that works both ways. Hmm. There's apparently a Master Quest version of a Master Quest mod of Persona 3 being uploaded. There's apparently a alternate Kokonoe outfit. Looks good. And June is the start of winter for me. Ah. Uh, June. Not even. I wouldn't say June. It's more like April. April is when it starts to get fucking stupid hot. Trying to give me a heart attack. I miss moons like this though. I miss moons like this though. Sonia says there are waypoints we can use to contact contact each other, but it'll be tough. That being said, I am really excited to go out into the world. I think that's what I like most about you, Cyrus. Not afraid to go after what you want or after what you think is right. It should be my job to inspire others to be better, but you're the one inspiring me. For what it's worth, I think you're a pretty great leader. You say that even I, even I, even I, even I, even I, you say that, but even I have a, even I have a long ways to go. I mean, probably at that. Well, I mean, at that point, isn't it just Doom? You're just playing Doom on PC. Then just don't forget all the progress you've made. And just don't forget the progress you made already. Okay. All right. I'll try not to. Same goes for you, rookie. He really did kick some ass out there, by the way. You know he did not. He did the opposite of kick some ass. The only ass that got kicked was his. I chuckle. I guess I am the rookie of the team now. Don't worry, Captain. I've got your- don't worry, Captain. I've got your back. I go along with this playfulness, but he replies sincerely. Thank you, Cyrus. What, did I skip something? Fade out. Ah. Let's see. What else do I need? Uh, yeah. His rear is still sore. That's which is what she said, but um psh. With my axiom screen out, I go over what little belongings I have. My bed is Yeah. If I won't shut the fuck up, you know that? You know that? My bed has a lot of miscellaneous things I'd like to bring, but don't need to. Makoto's, Makoto's, Makoto's. Oh, oh, assume you mean the protagonist of like Persona 3, blue haired guy. We call him Dorkun. Damn. 
Damn, that's insane. Oh. Anime is apparently a juggernaut of a uh, social media engagement. The the fall uh the only thing to beat My Hero Academia is Fallout. Like My Hero is actually putting in better numbers than fucking X Man ninety seven, and Invincible, and Invin and, and Konosuba is right behind Invincible. At, well, yeah, there's a gap between them, but it's the the one below it. Damn. And Jujutsu Kai oh, nah. Oh yeah, Jujutsu Kaisen. Uh hello. Hello, Owl. It's been a while. Right now I'm being a bit distracted by like a the poll on Twitter showing like social media engagement for different subjects on uh, uh social media. And anime is apparently fucking dominating. Like Jujutsu Kaisen in One Piece? Uh blow out like fallout by around like uh, eight nine ten eleven four million views well uh, post or engagements whatever the fuck they're measuring yeah i'm doing well i did got to get sick one month but i uh, bounce back any hell even in terms of like engagement with the, like most popular shows in the u.s one piece is at 11.1 .1 million young Sheldon, the third the which is closest to it is only at 2.5 Tanari, uh, is Tanari no Yokai Sand done? Because I want to at least cover finished anime so I don't just recover like half a, cover half a season. Uh, uh, you're not going to tell me that if it's done, done or not? Okay. I already stored away all the stuff I got from Golden Requiem. Yeah. Uh, most popular but i think people take that with a grain of salt parallel world pharmacy is it a furry anime though oh what was it there was this one really good manga series i not uh finished watching it was um not watching reading i want to say it was like life uh life insurance salesman in like isekai or something yeah. Well, Jujutsu Kaisen has been dominating because it's just been very, 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 very popular. Like, out of anything since, like, uh, Naruto, uh, Naruto and, um, Bleach ended, it's probably the closest thing to hitting their sheer level of popularity. I think that's also probably why you hear more, much more criticism of it nowadays, considering it is, like, the dominant, um, anime as of the moment. Rance had a little while with his 21st century medicine in Magic 2. Oh. It's like Full Metal Alchemist. What was the name of it? Tanari no Yokai san? Tanari no Yokai. Oop, I'm misspelling that. Toad. Yeah, I, oh, I misspelled it. Eh. Oh, yeah, it's not even close to being done. If I do make another furry anime video, it's definitely not going to be on there. Oh, I finished watching Sherlock Hound. And I'm going to be honest with you, chat. I did not like it that much. I already stored away all the stuff I got from Golden Requiem and a few sets of clothes. Food and water could be an issue, but I'm sure Silver knows how to handle that. It is older than I am. Like, honestly, Sherlock Hound wouldn't... I wouldn't dislike it so much if Sherlock Hound wasn't 24 fucking episodes. Like, I kind of... I get why, like, a... Uh, uh, Sacrificial Princess was that long. It covered the entire manga. But... And it, and it had, like, an actual storyline. But Sherlock Hound is basically just 24 episodes of, like, Spongebob. Like, come on. They're all like 30 minutes long and it's just insane. Like that is a lot of content for like nothing happening. Then, then there's our transportation. Surely they won't give us, give us an in vehicle just for the two of us. 
Oh yeah, yeah. It is it, Sherlock Hound is old. Yeah, see ya, owls. I wonder if Tanya has something planned for that. Yeah. Yeah, what is? Well, SpongeBob is fine. It's just like, I can only watch so much of that at once. I've also started watching Agretsuko, but not the anime, the OG shorts for Agretsuko. I wonder if Tatani has something planned for that. Well, I wasn't thought, I hear the door open behind me. So of peeks in his head before making his way inside, the door closing behind him shortly after. Oh wow, you are short. <laughs> Seeing him like compared to Aaron, like back to back, it's like, wow, this nigga is short, short. <laughs> Mid hospital. Um, Aaron and uh, Cyrus are being gay. Aaron's on probation. They confess to each other. Blah, 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 blah. Now Cyrus is packing for his trip. Yeah. Looks like someone's anxious. Yeah, this the um, this visual novel is not that fast. To be fair, I also did kind of stop for a moment to discuss animus. Oh yeah. Uh. Yeah. Oh yeah! Did y'all hear that? I guess for Persona Three, I guess first mission is on um, is getting ported to Steam. You know, and, and that's wild because this game is the, the lost mission has been lost media for like ages. The fact that they're just porting it to Steam, like here, fuck it, take it. Just preparing. That's all. Take it. You've been bare. You've been briefed. Yep, Madam Pink Pantsuit just gave just gave him the details. Silver rolls his eyes. Or she puts me on another long-term trip. She probably just thinks you're capable. Yeah, well, I think she's an annoying bitch. Harsh. That's putting it lightly. Don't worry. I'm sure she said far worse about me. I think she cares about you in her own very weird way. I still can't bring myself to forgive her. She knew what Ash was going through living there. She knew what Ash was going through living there. That's fair. I kind of forgot what they were talking about. Uh, we're playing Remember the Flowers. We haven't remembered any flowers yet, though. Here we go. Besides all that, she's always getting in my business. Besides all, oh, that does seem to be her MO, being the intelligence after officer and all. I don't think we'll ever. I don't think we'll ever see eye to eye. Did we remember some flowers? Ash likes her just fine. He's forgiving like that. Not me, though. What is um Silver's whole relationship with Pink Pantsuit? I forget her name. I know she's fucking kind of like his adoptive mother or whatever, but I don't know. Yeah, I think the honestly, I think the issue with PS2, P3 is that evidently the coding is a fucking nightmare. Well, the game is just a just a nightmare mess of code from what I've heard, but I don't know. Yeah, I'm today -ish. She sent them off through Zoom. Okay. Princess Bubble Game for Sona. Goss, finally realizing he's gone off on another rant. Anyway, you know, do you want some help preparing? Can not hurt. I've never taken a trip this long before. Try not to overthink it. We're on the road. We only need a couple weeks of supplies at a time. 
God, he has such a shitty thing, Grand. So takes out his screen, right? Takes, <laughs> takes out the screen on his right, uh, on his right axiom. I'm gonna be covering a pretty large area. Hmm. We'll be able to port from time to time, but we'll be traveling by foot the rest of the way. I groan. Not much of a walker, huh? I only used to run with my boyfriend, but it's been years. Many years. Ah, he'll just get used to it. We need to keep a low profile. Speaking of, how do you feel about chokers? Excuse me? You don't want to look like those idiots and resume, so we need to cover your Arcadia collar somehow. Oh, that's a good idea. If I knew, so, knew what that what it, what it was, it'd be a dead giveaway. If I knew what it was, it'd be a dead giveaway. Yeah, I'd rather avoid another stupid mistake. I pause. He said that with some spite in his voice. Everything good? You know, we're roommates, right? I know you and you're not exactly subtle when you're bad about something. He crosses his arms and scowls. I went to visit Aaron recently. He told me everything. Oh, he's not happy. I was really thrilled when I heard about what happened at Golden Requiem. You didn't yell at him, did you? Of course not. I'm not going to kick him in while he's down. Doesn't mean I wasn't angry about it. Aaron and I talked about it already. It's fine. Really? It's fine that you almost died. I had faith in him to- I had faith in him to keep you s- Oh, <laughs> for God, Silver was supposed to have Silver's voice. I had faith in him to keep you safe, considering it's kind of his job in the first place. What a bum! Silver. He was careless and stupid. It sucks about Xavier, but he's still our leader and he failed you. I never met the guy. I don't have any attachments to him like the others do. He needs to get a grip already. I sigh, frustrated, then address him firmly. We literally just discussed this like an hour ago. Take this! We'll stream Sonic 06 one of these days. I, I bought entire fuck. I bought... Oh, I should... I would need to hook up the fucking Ethernet cord to my Xbox. That's a pain. Uh, to do it. Rose with Root. Yeah, if she does come up. Oh, but Chad, did you know that the Xbox 360 is so old that you can't use modern Wi-Fi on it? You have to hook it up by Ethernet if you want to play it. Just let it go. Trust me when I say he, regret, he, little, he regrets it now, okay? So little, little, breaks eye contact to stare at the floor. He looks annoyed at first, but seems to relax again. So <clears throat> Sorry, it just didn't sit well with me, is all. Yeah. That's one of those issues that I fucking don't like hooking it up because it's such a pain in the ass. I have to hook up. Oh, man. Granted, I should, I should get Sonic 06. It's only five bucks on Xbox Live. And it's, and it's not that big of a game either. I could download that in like a fucking few minutes. Hmm. Hmm. Believe me, I get it. Just let's forget about it, okay? So get a bat. My canto bum too. Uh, my is bum too, and even he's not that bad. <laughs> Ugh. Fine. Sorry. I run my fingers through my long locks. Yeah, I didn't get to tell you, but I have but I have to get my hair dyed. Rather, I was ordered to as a new member of the resistance. Silver chuckles. Titania, I assume. Yeah, I don't have a choice. That or get fired. But now that you're officially going to be out in the field, it only makes sense. Gotta keep a low profile like me. Become a shadow. No, you're silver. By the way, you know there'll be more than a few nights where you won't be able to bathe, right? Hell, try to look for some dry shampoo then. Silver, snick silver Snickers. I'm kidding, mostly. I'm gonna rent a portable bath and store it in one of our axioms. Oh, thank God. We should stock up on toiletries. We can go shopping if you'd like. I've been shopping a lot lately. I might try to order stuff. I might try to order stuff this time. Sounds good to me. Less effort, too. What about you? Need any help? 
This ain't my first rodeo. I'll figure I'll figure it out when we get closer. You ever just hear something absolutely absurd on like, read something absolutely absurd on Twitter that makes you wonder like, wow, these niggas really do live in a totally different world for me. It took an, uh, take the next few minutes to finalize my inventory. Oh yeah, Keanu Reeves a shadow. They killed my dog. They killed my dog, Sonic. That's why I'm uh, blowing up the earth or something. That's what the Ark was doing, I think. Maria's going to be replaced with a dog in um, the, the movie. They're still going to shoot it, mind you. I take the next few minutes to finalize my inventory. During that time, I think back to my previous conversation with Kanto. They weren't in the best shape last we spoke. Is he okay with Silver going away for this long? Well, Silver's here now, so it doesn't hurt to ask. By the way, how did Kanto take it? You know, the whole six-month mission thing. Silver doesn't reply. You did tell him, right? Sans is deafening. Oh my god! <laughs> Silver! I'll tell him. I'll tell him in a few days. I think you should tell him now. Again, it's not like this is new to us. It's fine. Instead of bringing up Kanto's feelings, but that wouldn't be fair to him. Well, whatever you think is best. Just make sure you tell him soon, okay? Mm-hmm. Anyway, I just need to pick something up. I gotta head out in a sec. Busy as usual. You know it. Oh, are you free on Thursday? As far as I know, why? Silver looks toward the door to make sure we're done, even though we're in our room. He gets real close and whispers something to me. How do you handle surprises? Poorly. Uh, it varies, I guess. So it has a mischievous look on his face. Do you want me to spoil you? I don't know. Sure. They want to throw you a party on Thursday to celebrate your first mission. It was Karen's idea. You told her before Kanto? <laughs> Valid thing to bring up. <laughs> you told... That's not important. What's important is that is for you to be ready. For what? A party? It's going to be a long time before you see everyone. You'll want to make the most of it. You're going to get drunk as fuck, Cyrus. Drunk as fuck. Drunk as fuck. I see. That's oddly sentimental coming from you. What's that supposed to mean? Is it weird that I'll miss my friends? What's that supposed to mean? Is it weird that I'll miss my friends? Not at all. I know I will. I'm just I'm just getting nervous again. I feel as calm as you are about it. I'm going to miss everyone. Don't be nervous. I'm going to have a good time digging up a bunch of rocks. When you put it like that, I can't wait. I, sarc I say sarcastically. Still, we laugh. Just a few more days, huh? No more days. Deeper beneath the surface. Faithful day is almost upon us. The so I are set to leave tomorrow evening. Karen came to my room midday asking if I had anything planned. I had a faint confusion when she invited me to a dinner that evening. She denied that I was going to be at Starlight Road. I tell she was talking up with an excuse. Uh, she she not that I was going to be at Starlight Road. She had, I could tell she was trying to come up with an excuse as to why. She said it was a secret dinner thing. All acting confused got harder. I said I'd be happy to come. She deflated like she thought I'd turn it down. Are you going to be in a conference room in the base? One minute for social gatherings. I decided to show up 45 minutes early to see if she needed any help. I came to the middle of pouring herself a drink when I walked in. After some prodding, I convinced her to let me stay to set things up. Only after I admitted to know what tonight is really about. <clears throat> that damned fox. Why do you have to go and ruin the surprise? I remember what voice we gave her. He's an assassin. I hate surprises, naturally. Doesn't mean he has to ruin it for others. Oh well, I'm sure it'll be a fun time regardless. I intend to make I intend to make the most of it. You excited? Yeah, I hear the parties here are crazy. Oh, you goof. I meant for tomorrow. Oh, also yes, I'm excited for that too. If not, kind of nervous. Good, so I once said leave at nightfall tomorrow, so I have plenty of time to prepare. It was like an awkward time to set out, if I'm honest. You were just going on about how he's an assassin. You're less likely to be seen if you drive at night. I guess. Think back to how Silver left I think back to how Silver left us a little left us at the campsite. Though I don't have a good night, though I don't have a good night vision like y'all do. 
Oh, don't worry. We can take care of that too. Karen grunts as she lifts a rather large table all by herself, pulling above her head. Let us know if you need anything before you leave. We still have some time. Thanks, but uh, you sure you don't need any help with that? What, you kidding? She laughs as she starts holding the table with her real arm. Fair enough. I'll leave the heavy lifting to you. In that case, you can start setting all the cups and ke setting all the cups and cakes up. You can handle that, right? Leave it to me. Surprises for me have been anything but good lately. And frankly, did me a favor. Yeah, that's true. Karen Rose, yes. Yeah, well, we're giving her Rouge's voice. What? Oh no. Well, I don't. I don't follow. What are what are you callers, Montiel? Oh, Slow night, girl. They's talking about what? What's going on? What are y'all laughing at? Oh, by the way. Oh, by the way. There's actually there actually is something out. There is something I wanted to ask ask you. Wait on me, rookie. I think I need to book uh, another appointment with my favorite hairstylist. Favorite stylist? Dude, Cyrus, are you are you cheating on me? I'm flabbergasted. What? I'm talking about you, silly. Oh, really? I'm your favorite. You're, you're the only one. She gave me the biggest pair of puppy dog eyes I've ever seen. You're my only stylist. Ah, just kidding. Of course I am. And it better stay that way. That's how Hardy laugh. But seriously, what are you done? I mean, the dye a different color. Boss's orders. Is that all? That's easy. We can forget out tomorrow morning. But but first, we gotta finish setting up your, your party. She winks at me, then continues what she was doing before. No, oh, so we're telling Kanto we're not carrying at the mission. Uh, I got those names backwards, but yeah, you know. Jeez. Karen and I chat away as we finish setting up for the party. I need to put my phone in the charger. Goddamn. Yeah. Mm, I don't know. I'm betting they'll just go back to brown. Karen and I chat. Chat away as we finish setting up for the party. She says it was last minute, so not many people would be able to come. There's a new Madolce monster! Madolce Queen Tira Fr Tiara Phrase. Three level five Madolce monsters. Once return, you can also exceed summon Madolce Queen Tiara Phrase by using Madolce Queen Tiara Masu. You control. Transfer its materials to this card. Once return, quick effect, you can detach one material from this card and target up to two Madolce cards or GY. Shuffle them into the deck, and if you do, shuffle up to that many cards your opponent controls into the deck. <laughs> That's the same fucking card, but a quick effect. <laughs> Uh, just the same card, but a quick effect. If this card in possession is destroyed by your opponent, then to send your GUI return to the extra deck. That's just, but yeah, yeah, that's just the same fucking card, but a quick effect. Hilarious, honestly. <laughs> I... I I mean, you can't even complain about it, because, yeah, that does fix Tiramisu. It's just, they it just made it faster. Oh, shit, yeah, there you go. That's, shit, that's my boss monster. Not a bad piece of Madoche support, to be honest. Because you can rank it up, you even get, like, a, an extra piece of material for it. That being said, close to 50 people have RSVP'd already. I don't know about a dozen people here at the Resistance. Oh, man. Also, uh, leak. Salmon great cards. I don't play Salmon great, so I don't fucking care about these. Honestly, I might use my gems to try and um, uh, get Super Poly. I play, I'm now playing more fusion decks than I thought, than I thought I would, so super probably seems like a good investment. <laughs> I only know about a dozen people here at the resistance.
Now that I'm, I'm part of them, it'd be my best interest to make a good first impression. Slowly but surely, people start rolling in. Once I can cups, I feel a tap on my shoulder. Yay, it's Aaron! Aaron smiles down at me. So it's called Tierra Tia Tia Amaterasu. Yeah, there's that sh that would be great. Losing Snake Eyes support. Oh god, I do have a Snake Eyes deck. Oh come on! Uh, wait, do you mean they're actually releasing like Snake Eyes support, or can Salmon Greats work with Snake or Sa Snake Eyes? It just released earlier that earlier today, so I'm happy he seems to be in good spirits. Try to resist the urge. Uh, what's the new salad link for? I, did, I haven't actually paid attention. If it's not a deck I play, I don't read the cards. <laughs> uh, salad link for Salmon. Salmon Great Raging Fe Salmon Great Raging Phoenix. This card is linked. Salmon using Salmon Great Raging Phoenix. Some material you can add on Salmon Great card from deck to your hand. If you face a fire monster, you can release. Oh. GY can target up to one of those monsters, especially on this card. And if you do, this card can attack it. Oh, that's, that is nutty. That is nutty in Snake Eyes Fire King. I fucking hate Konami. Well, that's what happens when you release a bunch of meta fire decks all at the same time. Their support kind of compounds into each other. It's like releasing a uh, tier limits and then releasing some of the best milling support in the game. I try to resist the urge to hug him since we're in public. He's got a reputation to uphold after all. That doesn't stop him from picking me up for a massive bear hug. Yay! Physique goals, body goals. God, uncle, uncle. Yeah, you're on fire. Apparently, apparently next year is oh this year is supposed to be year of light, but I don't know. Kanami's kind of been fucking that up. Well, yeah, next year. No. Yeah. Top decks. Uh, it sucks. I'm the fucking the uh, the fur hire video didn't do good like at all. It's fucking depressing, chat. Oh, God. Not looking forward to ten pies. What the fuck? T tier limits are two? Tier limits are tier two. Number one is Snake Eye. Two is Tier Limit. Three Labyrinth, Pearly, Rescue Ace, and Branded Despia. And Super Heavy Samurai. How are tier limits tier two? Yeah, people did not like the fur hire video. They did not like Yu-Gi-Oh, so fuck me, I guess. I exclaim, patting his back, he squeezes the air out of my lungs. Aaron chuckles before stunning me down. Sorry, uh, just excited to see you again. Me too. Uh, what if you say that like that one piece of support or uh, that one support something dragon trident dragon, I think isn't going to be like 80 bucks. Me too. Me too. I haven't gotten the gang together in a while. Such is life being a mercenary. I just shrugged before moving to pick up a box off the ground. Is this okay? The place is a little, is this an okay place? Is that some food should be Rosen Give me a lot of guidelines. Figures, that is her style after all. Yeah, the, uh, I don't know. The deck is apparently as a build might be a bit OD. If it's because of its capability, just smash things. No, oh, Kelly Pot is on sale for those that want to buy it. Yeah, I just I just got like an email about it. Damn, it's on sale for seven bucks. That's kind of goaded. Y'all should buy it, chat. Uh, 
Aaron starts unpacking containers full of hot food. Wait, did you cater for the party? More or less. It's been a while since I've been in the kitchen. Naturally, I couldn't turn on this opportunity. Threatening roar! We're Burden of the Mighty. I think Burden of the Mighty is the card I'm thinking of, right? Yeah, Kellypot's a really good game. I do intend to like fully finish it 100%-ish at some point. Ah, I just need to pick, pick it back up again. More, more or less, it's been a while since I've been in the kitchen, actually. Come, hope it wasn't too much for you. You're still recovering. That's what I should say to you. Looks like you've worked up quite a sweat. Who, me? Pfft, I'm fine. Trust me. Oh, and I made something special just for you. I gasp. Did you make? I did indeed. Figured you want carbonara one last time before the big trip. Forbidden droplet. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Uh, this might be droplet's time to come back into the meta. I like the card, but I just don't play it often. Yes, you'll need to teach me your recipe. I'll tr I can try to make it on the road. I need to send it to your axiom before the night is over. Let's you enjoy yourselves tonight, yeah? You bet. I can't. You bet. I can't wait to meet everyone. <sighs> Carbonara. Carbonara. That shouldn't be a problem. That shouldn't be a problem. Kind of a celebrity down here as it is. Aaron points to my Arcadia collar. That alone will clue people. That alone will clue people in. Those colors are usually saved for high profile missions. Your late time made seem like this was an under the table kind of thing. I shouldn't be surprised. You are a special case after all. Most people start small when they're recruited. It's a long time before I was ever asked to wear one of those things. Oh lord, who doesn't raise people's expectations of me? I think you're going to do just fine. Now together against the men of the fraction. Most people here can't say the same. I think you're being a little dramatic. I'm serious. You'd be surprised how many members of the resistance stick strictly to volunteer work. Not everyone is a fighter. You must go around to different cities to help those in need. Part of the Tanya's initiative to help bring the country together. So you only tried seafood because of Black Butler? What? I have a field day discarding their dark road cards for cost and generating. It, okay, can someone point me in the direction of a good dark world pearly deck? Because that sounds fucking sick. Including me! Shut up. <laughs> Shut up, good old days. That's not nice. Well, like I said, well, like I said, I'll make sure to give you progress updates when I can. I'm just surprised it took you watching Black Butler to eat seafood. It's seafood. <laughs> that reminds me of the fucking joke from Bleacher Bridge. It's not nice to call the Fraction Vermin Lilinette, but not distinctly inaccurate. And I'll do the same. You continue setting up tables and I watch Aaron place out all the food he carried in. So, oh my god. I do not understand picky eaters. Like, dude, it's food. Chill, God. While I'm looking up and down at the spread, my mouth starts to water. I'm allergic to seafood. Ah, that's a bummer. I'm looking up and down the smell. It doesn't look different from the typical finger food you would find at any party. But it's been centuries for me. My eyes are looking, I swipe a few sandwiches and quickly store them away in my axiom. And we too prepared. Hunger can strike at any moment. Let's go bad. 
no idea why I'm trying to be discreet. This is my party, after all. Oh, well. <clears throat> Maybe it's digitized time stuff. I don't know. One of the piggy steeders? I'm fine with like anything that's not like onions. I just don't like onions. Popcorn's fine. It's just easy and quick to make before stream starts when I haven't eaten anything. I have not played Shadowrun. By the time the party got going, it became hard to greet everyone. Pretty sure at least 100 people showed up. Damn, more the merrier, they say. Being the center of attention has never moved my forte, but the party is technically for me, so I try to be a good guest of honor. People are staring up at me from starting to whisper. Some point in my hair while others pointing to my collar. And do me to a few people I've never met before. To my surprise, there are only escape pristine carriers, because I never expected to see other carriers working for the resistance. Some are human, some are beastmen. Everyone here has their own story while well, their story they're writing. I think that's beautiful. So my eagerness to try the party, and so much socializing can handle before I feel I need to escape. Is my AC not on? Like my god. Yeah, it doesn't sound like it. A chicken is fine. Yeah, I'll drink milk if I have to, but I won't drink it, like, casually. Milk just doesn't taste very good. It just tastes like bad water. I don't, I'm not personally, I'm personally not really a big fan of chocolate. I'll eat it, but meh. I usually go for like fruity candies and stuff. Those Sour Patch watermelon gummies are great though. Just about to get some fresh air in the hall, certain Fox stands in front of the door. Silver! Hey, where do you think you're slinking off to? Slink, slinking off to? My battery's drained. I need a breather. I have to wait. I think Rose is about to make a big announcement. The what? <laughs> this time, Mike feedback kills our ears. Fills our ears. What's up? <clears throat> What's up, body people? Surprisingly, Karen gets the crowd going pretty easily. Point up at the stage. Does she want me to go up there? Great, so. Ah, oh, silver smirk phase, and his ear falls back. Confused, look behind me. Candles in the crowd looking around, soon spotting us. Go ahead. I'll set the announcement out. No, 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 you talk to your boyfriend. Don't have a chance to reply as Silver tries to leave himself. Karen points to me. What are you doing over there? <clears throat> what are you doing over there, rookie? Get up on... What are you doing over there, rookie? Get up on stage. It's kind of wild. Street Fighter VI is prob probably doing the best out of the big, um... Uh, three fighting games right now by simply just being kind of normal. We've got to respect Guilty Gear for not having a battle pass or anything like that. Oh god, I, I oh god, I feel my cheeks flushed. It's just another test. Jack, give me a second to make sure my AC is on because it's hot as balls in here.
proof. Well, that's rough. What games do they enjoy? Not Mortal Kombat, Guilty Gear, Injustice. Okay, well, you should put Injustice in low tier. <clears throat> oh my gosh, dogs barking again. I just got back. Dog's mad that the neighbors are trimming their hedges. <sighs> this is just another test. Same confidence. I walk up my way. I will make my way up to the stage. Welcome the newest member to the crew. Normally this would be a table. Not to announce his first alias, but as you all know, he's pretty famous. Regardless, Cyrus is a member of the, uh, as much a member as the rest of us. You better treat him right or get my metal arm right up your ass. Not in a fun way. Fisting jokes. You know, holds out the mic to me. Wait, fuck, I haven't prepared a speech. Take a bit with a bit of hesitation. Um, hello everyone. Think you're taking the time to make it out tonight. Let's predict Karen. What do I say? Everyone! She says an excited whisper. Yeah, thanks. Clear my throat. I wasn't expecting to make an announcement tonight. Dolls are not the best at these kind of things, so here it goes. Uh, I just want to say what I'm looking forward to working with you all to take down resume. I was stuck here and stuck in there for a really, ta little, little, really long time, longer than most people are alive for. So if anything, I hope you can, I hope you can trust me when I say I'm going to give it my all. As most of you know, my first mission starts tomorrow. I haven't been asking me how I'm feeling about it. My answer is still the same. I'm excited to get to work and I'll be gone for a while, but with my good friend Talon. In that time, I hope to grow as, into a valuable asset to the team. Thank you again for coming out and I hope you enjoy the party. Then when Karen was ma making the mic, the crowd roars. My embarrassment chills my face and I scratch my cheek. And the mic back to Karen. Can I leave now? I'm a bit overwhelmed. Of course. <clears throat> of course. Go enjoy yourself, guest of honor. Learned about it. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, ironically, yeah, maybe. I will. Thank you. They turn to the sage. I see Kanto and Silver in the corner. They look like they're arguing. That doesn't look good. My god, this thing's telling me that can only mean one thing. Before I reach the floor, I can see them and leave the venue. By the time I get outside, they're nowhere to be found. Do we hear footsteps in the distance? 
Should it be stealthy as possible? I you, you, you won't go to sleep. You're not going to sleep on Talon. I don't need to. I don't count of candles yelling. Until they're right around the next corner. Stay put. Trying to listen in. Barely make out Silver's voice. What do I do here makes him sound pitiful. Scared. Confused. How is this, how is this any different? That's part of the problem, isn't it? I remember he got shadows. Yeah, this really was how Kanto found out. <laughs> it's like, Silver, what the fuck, dude? Honestly, I'm, I'm getting to think that Silver's just kind of bad at relationships. That's part of the problem, isn't it? I gulp. I'm sorry I didn't tell you, but I didn't think it would be that big of a deal. Of course not. You never do. This is why Blaze was... <laughs> I misread that comment so badly, Ara. I was like, whoa, I don't think cats have those, but okay. Uh oh. For a moment, I consider step stepping in, but I stop myself. I think it's time to cut. The, I look. I think it's time to cut the. Look. I think it's time to cut the bullshit. <laughs> uh, I'm looking at a post of like, who do you think is winning this? Goku with every ability, Luffy with every ability, Naruto with every ability, or Ichigo with every ability. I'm just like, it's crazy how, like, Goku gets something like Omniscient, Tsunami Presence, Goku, uh, Bleach gets, uh, Almighty or Grimmy's, uh, um, uh, the Imaginary. Meanwhile, Luffy is still weak to water. I just throw that bitch in a pool and he's kind of dead. <laughs> Look, I think it's look, I think it's time to cut the bullshit. Uh, Blaze is not his sister. She kinda acts like it though. Goku man. You should use one. Of, you should use one of his devil fruit abilities to um, give the animators a bigger budget. You have your life. <clears throat> you have your life. You have your life, and I have mine. I'm taking the hint loud and clear. Oh my gosh. It's weird when people put like her uh, like Master Roshi against Jiraiya. Like Master Roshi can still blow up the fucking moon casually. And like Dragon Ball, not even Z or Super. Blow up the fucking moon. That is stronger than anything Jiraiya has. But no, I'm not doing this anymore. Not until you tell not until you tell me what's going on with you lately. Check to hear Silver's reply, but I'll hear sounds followed by a seated sigh from Kanto. You know what? It's fine. I'm tired of being your afterthought. I'm not going to sit around and be like shit anymore. Uh, this is, honestly, this is definitely Silver's fault. This is definitely Silver's fault. I'm, I'm just going to say that right now. Well, 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 
love is in the consequences of my actions. God damn. Okay, can y'all hear the fucking hedge trimmer outside or? I hope you have a safe trip. Goodbye, Silver. With that, I hear every set of footsteps walk further and further away. Okay, thank God you can't. Because my God, it is loud as fuck. Followed by a lighter set quickly running away. Oh, fuck. What should I do? What can I do? And they, these are two adults. I can't just force them to be together. We're leaving so soon, too. I don't want this to be how they end things. Walk towards the hall where I heard the voices. Sure enough, no one's there. Kanto can, can, can probably help him handle himself. It's Silver I'm worried about. Lilo and Stitch. It's nice. I keep seeing weird, like, muscle gut art of Stitch. It's weird. So yeah, Stitch is apparently a good summon. Yeah, I can't I will say this is Hmm. Honestly, I'd probably like Kanto and um Silver's relationship more than Cyrus and Aaron's. Theirs is just more interesting for due to the drama. I try to think like Silver. Where'd he where'd he go when feeling vulnerable? To Ash? No, he's the type to be alone. The only one place I can think of where he can be alone, mostly. Walk my way down the hall, I'm hoping my sensings are right. His room. It's about a five minute walk to our room. Should I knock? No, it's my room too. Then make it even more awkward. Try to act natural. If you ask why I'm not at the party, say we got something and needed to grab it. Easy, right? I sigh. It's never that easy. Nothing to do, nothing to it but to do it. Put in the door code and then walk in. Lights are off, as expected. He's still grossing in the corner, so I'm not turning on the lights for his sake. Even only the hall will illuminate the room. No silver has already turned on his cot, trying to act like he's asleep. You know, I can tell you're faking it, right? Because you usually snore. Silver rolls over and glares at me. Frowned around his eyes like stamp. I don't snore. Yeah, I know, but I got you. Oh, I fucking. Oh! <laughs> Hmm. Hilarious. Can you have a vein on the nose when it's supposed to smoke? Yeah, but not really. Yeah, the con someone's bluff. Not necessarily getting up. Not necessarily calling someone's bluff. Um, not getting your own bluff called. Mm -hmm. Walk over and then play myself next to him on the floor. I don't say anything right away. Trying to find the right words is difficult. Well, go on. Out with it. You can tell. I know you heard us. You're not that stealthy. I chuckle nervously. Oh man, and on. The rhino is apparently like. Yeah, he's apparently bottom one. Not, not, not bottom one. Definitely the worst of the furries you could get. But hey, at least you got a furry. I had to re-roll my entire account because on that um initial like first um like, S class roll or whatever, I managed to get the one character I picked who wasn't a furry. A one out of five chance, and I still fucked it up. Then I'll cut to the chase. What's going on, Silver? 
you should know he didn't fucking tell um, uh, Kanto anything. You know, I'm here for you. I don't want to talk about it. Well, not talk. Well, not talking about it is why you're here in the first place, isn't it? Come on. I think for a moment. I have an idea. I mean, you'll get Brutus in like seven days. They're giving away them all. I have an idea. Let's get out of here. We go to the service for a bit. What for? Just to get away from everything. You know, whenever I was feeling down, my best friend would come barging in and drag me out of bed. Memphis, Tennessee. <laughs> Why is he, is, he, is he really fart litter? Nice to get a to as they say in Nippon. Oh my god. My, my sense of humor is fucking dead. Do you mean Diana? You mean Diana? Yep. And she would stow me away in her. Then she would stow me away in her car, and we'd go driving around town, or go to a park or something. It's easy to get lost in your own head sometimes. So what do you think? Silver so slowly sits up in his cot <sighs> and looks over at me. After a moment, he nods. I stand up and extend my hand to him. Sounds like a plan, then. Cockper? Who, who's that? Sounds like a plan then. No, I don't know who Cockper is supposed to be. No, Cooper Lance. Ah. As we make our walk to the base, we eventually reach a service surface using the elevator. Once the door is open, I step outside and Silver follows me. Take a deep breath and look around. Every night, the stars are bright. There's even a cool breeze. Crickets are lively, too. Find a nearby boulder and take a seat on it. Pat the spot next to me. Inviting Silver over. I was hesitant for a moment before finally walking over to join me. Come on, let's sit down. A little bit of fresh air always helps clear my mind. We've got a great view. We've got a... We've got a great view, too. Look. Point up at the stars. Silver looks up for a moment before taking the seat next to me. I notice his gaze drops down quickly, blow, quickly to the dirt below him. He looks lost in his thoughts. You hungry? I stole some snacks from the party earlier. I mean, it was just me, but I'm thinking on empty. <laughs> thinking on an empty stomach just makes me feel worse. My axiom inventory sphere, and after pressing a few buttons, two wrapped up croissant sandwiches drop into my lap. That's nice. Pick one up and hold out to Silver. He doesn't answer, but he takes it anyway. Thanks. Hmm. They sit in silence for a few minutes, quietly eating together. But it doesn't take long before I hear sniffling. It's like that, he keeps eating until he finishes his sandwich. They are moving, that's so nice! Say nothing at first, but start rubbing his shoulder after a few moments. Screwed up. I screwed up, Cyrus. I really screwed up. What do you mean? So this cracks a bit when he responds. I don't even know where to start. That's okay. Just didn't think I would feel this bad. He deserves better than me anyway. Why is that? Because I don't know how to do any of this. I have no idea what it means to be a good boyfriend. Right? The internet doesn't exist. You can't just look it up. Miss my wife, Cyrus. I miss her a lot. I'll be back. Man. I wasn't ready. He had a frustration in his voice. Back then, in the orphanage, I wasn't allowed to feel anything. That's why I'm so good at what I do. When is limited run game selling? Got any cool deals? Blood Dragon Collector's Edition for PS4. Xbox, PC. Skate Deck, hilarious. Oh, and Rugrats Special Edition. Wonder what's next. Ah, uh. back then, and I don't. That's I'm gonna. That's probably why I have such a messed up relationship with my feelings. It's probably why I have such a messed up relationship with my feelings. That makes sense. The past sticks with us. Sticks with us hard sometimes. No matter what we, what we try to do to move on. It's 
too much, Cyrus. It's too much, Cyrus. I can't focus on my missions while worrying about someone else. Dead Island, Forest Cathedral, PlayStation Rush Perspective. Hmm. Straight lights. Hmm. You know, I don't have too many stuff upcoming. Man, yeah, that's kind of a bummer. It's too much, Cyrus. I can't focus on It's hard enough letting Ash go off on his own. So what are you trying to say? Take a deep breath. I can't. I can't be with Kanto. Not right now. If that's his adult decision to be made. Ah. Uh, playing Fusion, not have to deal with a branded or a tier. I, co I completely forgot that tier would be a problem during this event. Fusion for the win. Fusion for the fucking win. Haven't dealt with Exo Sister or Pearly yet. Uh, I really should have an out to Pearly. What are some outs to X Pearly Noir? Dark Ruler no more. It's true. Hmm, but I'm playing fusion, so I can't have some. Hmm. But I was too much of a coward to say it after all this time. Now everything is fucked up. Now everything is fucked up. Monsters immune to activated effects. Do I have to start? Oh man, am I gonna have to run, start running kaiju's? Tally ho, Spriggins. Does Tally ho, Spriggins work? Days turn into weeks, and weeks turn into months, and I never said a damn thing. You say that, but there has to be a reason you've lasted this long. Oh yeah, you can detach it. The sprig uh monster from a sprig from an expertly. Granted, if you're playing Spriggins, you're also running Xyz, so that wouldn't work. Wait, 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 wait. Does mirror jade work on X? Burly Noir. Yes, Mirror Jade works on it. Yeah. Yes, it because okay, so what makes a uh, Mirror Jade's um destruction effect annoying is that the destruction effect is a lingering effect, meaning you must deal with it as like immediately. Like, when it goes to Graveyard, unless you use a called by, you can't stop it, because it's a lingering effect. Which is different than an activated effect. It's in the same vein as um that one be by steal that summons something at the, that um draws a card at the end of your turn. It says, I will do that. This will happen. Th the actual effect activation is saying, this will happen then, not it happening. 
you have to stop it from saying this will happen then to make if, if that makes any sense. Dude, it's mirror jade. It's not hard to make. Because it feels like he's my anchor. I owe him so much. I was so afraid of losing him. And then I did. I need to focus. <laughs> I've, been, I've been Googling for like two, like what, 10 minutes on how to deal with the fucking ex early. Yeah. Yeah, it's honestly one part of the reason why Mirror Jade is such a good monster is that it's um field nuke is just hard to stop. I mean, it does have your opponent's card effect. That's true. But granted, it also means that they have to commit resources to either spinning, that they have to commit resources to spin to spin Mirror Jade. If they commit resources to spin Mirror Jade, they are probably losing its ability to um, be unaffected by card effects. So it's honestly a very good win-win card because they, ha they have to commit to getting rid of it. But we're like, worst case scenario, you either beat over their ex Purely Noir or you crash into it, destroying your, um, uh... A mirror jade and procking its effect. Kings of Hell, I completely forgot about that game. Whoopsies. My fox lets out a staggered breath as he covers his eyes with his left arm. I've always been alone, and I was fine with that. It's how we operate. It's how we operate, and it's what I'm used to. Yeah, we are discussing Yu Gi Oh cards. Oh, we get distracted very easily, chat. <clears throat> Do you think Albaz would count as like a furry archetype? Because I mean, like. Transformation and stuff, transforming into dragons and scalies. So I'm always away on missions. It's so easy to run, run away from it all, but I just... Silver in this moment. Um... Hmm. I didn't think of any cards about breakups. Why am I so stupid? Silver, you're being too hard on yourself, but this is exactly why you should talk to him. If you don't like it, if you don't like it, if you don't, it'll eat you alive. And I don't think you're stupid, okay? Is Chaz playing drama? Dramatic Crossroads right now? Yeah, he is. Yeah. Relationships can be messy. It happens. But if you want to fix it, you have to communicate. You don't get it at all. What? Stop making it sound so easy. So her hands shake up and curl into fist. Stands up and moves in front of me, holding his arms out as if to pretend, present himself. Just look at me, Cyrus. I'm hopeless. Just a stupid, broken mess. Mouths? Who's Mouths? <laughs> I don't know anything. Oh, where wounds? Reprise. Didn't get to go to school and figure out my shit like you. It was just me and my brother never had a childhood. They took that away from me and I'll never get that back. But I managed. Despite everything, I clawed my way out from that hell and battered and beaten. So we covered his face with his left hand. But hey, at least Ash just turned out fine. He can go on living a normal life and he's just okay. Sometimes even jealous of him and I hate myself for it. I can't do that. From the moment I was forced to take a life, I can never have that. So I'll keep fighting for us, so I, and so Ash can leave, ha live happy and free. Remove his hand from his face, his eyes so intense and clear. Stand up so I can meet him at eye level. You have to fucking crouch down for that, bro. Silver, have you ever thought about just taking a step back from all of this? You already fought your battles. You don't have to keep fighting. So 
glare pierces he his glare pieces right through me. He's cooking. Like actual food, or is he just saying or is he just fucking spitting? Uh, thing is, I don't know. Ah. It's a glare piece of art. No, you don't get to say that to me. No, you don't get to say that to me. You're no different than I am. Even under different circumstances, but we're all here fighting towards the same goal. I want to push back, but I know he's right. I just tried on many occasions to stop me from pursuing this job, but I didn't listen. I don't think I have the right to tell him what to do here. I'm sorry. Silver turns away from me. No, I'm sorry. Didn't mean to snap at you. Zone 4 Arena. What about it? And what is what and what does he do? The Dachi. It's okay. I get what you're saying. This is a dangerous job. This is a dangerous job. What we do is dangerous. I don't think you understand that yet. For your sake, I hope we never get to see the horrors that lie ahead. But I can't guarantee that. I'll always be there to protect you. I know, and I appreciate you being honest with me. What a good boy. <sighs> but there's no turning back now. Not after everything that's happened. I think it's just that when they give them Mamuto, it's like their only skill. Like one of their only like magic skills, so they're just prone to using it. And goes back to jail as he should. Adachi in jail. What will he do? They should make Persona Five Arena Ultimax already. I haven't seen what you've seen, but I want to. But I want you to know that you don't have to fight all on your own anymore. We have each other now, and I'm out. And out of everyone who could accompany me on this mission, I'm really glad it's you. So her eyes widen, and he looks away. Um. To be fair, they changed that, um, and I'm fucking thankful for that. And at least in SMT5, where they're no longer insta kills unless you're hitting a weakness. Fine, and I hope you're ready. It's the boss's orders. Shrug my shoulders and chuckle. So oversize and puts his hands in his pockets before looking back over to me. I have to stay focused. But never forget all those kids we met at the orphanage. I'll keep fighting for them too, even the friends we lost there. He says that. He says this under his breath. See, as I'm talking about, Kendall doesn't need to deal with that or any of my baggage. What deck do you think Cyrus, oh, well, not Cyrus, Silver would play? I'm the farthest thing from normal. Silver, I still remember when we first met. Well, even if I told you we kind of hated, hated each other. Honestly, that doesn't surprise me at all. You're both kind of stubborn dickholes. I might be closer to I might be closer to Aaron and everyone now, but it wasn't always like that. Silver chuckles himself. A pain smile stretched across his face. And still, Kanto was the first one to try and reach out to me. At some point, I gave in. That's all it took. For the first time in my life, I felt released. That's what she said. I smile. Imagine Kanto being affectionate. It's still a new concept to me. Well, it's not hard to see why I had feelings for him. He got pretty close over time, and then one day, he confessed to me. Why would I have to go and do that for? He's an idiot. Or maybe I'm the idiot who let him. Silver holds his head in his hands. I've always felt like, if I lose Kanto, I'll lose part of myself, you know? No, I've definitely been there. Silver sits back down next to me and brings his knees up to his chest. Can't even begin to tell you what Kanto means to me. Didn't know what it's like to feel to be held and to feel loved. I was living in the moment. I want to lose that feeling. It scares me. I'm afraid of afraid I'm always gonna be this broken thing, cling to the cling to things that make me feel normal. So I extend my arm towards him and start rubbing his back. But you're wrong. You're not broken, you're not and you're more normal than you realize. You should try looking at the silver lining more often, uh no pun intended. I managed to make him laugh with that one. 
You grew into the person you are today because of your Shogun experiences. That sounds pretty normal to me. Don't want anyone else to suffer, it's why you're so protective about the people you care about. Think about it. Think about Ash. Would he really be where he is now without you? And look at me. You had my back since day one. Aren't you the one that said you were a big factor in helping me escape? I'd still be rotting away in a containment chamber somewhere if not for you. Silver turns to look at me. You're okay, Silver. Even now, you're letting yourself open up. The point right now is that you finally acknowledge your feelings, right? If you don't think you're ready to be in a relationship, then you need to be honest about it. Silver is quiet for a moment. I'll talk to him then. I nod. His eyes leans in on me, pressing his head on my shoulder. I'm so tired. So I might be the most capable one of the team, but it's easy to forget he's still the youngest. Just a little baby. He spent the most of his life protecting others, but it feels like he's never let anyone return the favor. I can do that much for him. Let me sit there for a little while. At one point, he's about to fall asleep, but then he speaks up quietly. Do you really think we'll be? Do you really think he'll be okay with this? I think you're underestimating him, honestly. Then I think I'm ready. So he pushes away and stands up. Brushing himself off, I get up to stand with him. Let's call up. Let's call him up here then. At least you get everything off your chest before we leave, right? Think about my confession to Aaron. God, God knows I feel better. I feel better after this week. So we're tilted, sad, confused. What's that mean? Oh, uh, I'll save it for the road trip. He nods and his tail just a bit. You want me to message him for you? No, I should be the one. Silver sends Kanto a message, and he replies back quicker than expected. He says he needs 20 minutes, and he'll be on his way. In the meantime, take out more snacks for us while we wait. Hell yeah, snacks. Y you didn't know you could be weak to ailments? That's, only, well, that's like one of the biggest things that, that uh, I always get you in SMT. Realizing that, wait, what the fuck? You're weak to poison? And then, get, then watching your enemies get a fucking press turn for it. This is the longest 20 minutes of my life. I'm sure it's even longer for Silver. He's cleaning one of his knives. Yes, even an assassin can get nervous from time to time. Eventually, I see his ears flick back as he sits up. I start to hear footsteps come from where the elevator is. Hands out his hands in his pockets as he looks around. Silver looks like he's already losing his nerves, so I take it upon myself to call Kanto over. Hey, over here! And those ears twitch as he turns to face us. Pause before making his way over. What's over to Silver? Do you want me to stay? You don't have to, but can you wait for me after? Hey, Silver? Cyrus? Hey. They both stand awkwardly. Neither of them know what to say or how to start. I hear Silver gulp before he tries to speak up. I, uh, thanks for coming to meet me. No big deal. I was feeling stuffy down there. No big deal. I was feeling stuffy down there anyway. Yeah, same. There's another pause. I'll uh, give you two some space. I can go stand watch or something. Kendo smirks. Thanks, String Bing. I make my way down towards the elevator. Not that far away from this distance. I can still mostly hear the conversation. So, so, Kendo crosses his arms. He always has his arms crossed. Silver coughs. I wanted to talk about, you know, us. What about us? Like, you know how standoffish I've been this past year. Silver is trembling, but he manages to keep eye contact with Kanto. Let's sit down. Okay. They take a moment to get comfortable, sitting side by side where Silver and I were just before. I haven't been honest with you, and I need to change that. I know. But, uh, fuck, give me a second. Silver, Silver, Silver breaks eye contact with Kanto, struggling to say anything, and eventually takes a deep breath. Let's just say this first, okay? I love you. I always have, but... You're right. We can't do this anymore. So we're kicking some dirt and frustration. That sucks. I'm sorry. Just talk, Silver. Say what... Just talk, Silver. Say whatever you have to say. Right. Okay. Do you remember when you asked me to move in with you? It was a while ago. I know that meant a lot to you. I know that meant a lot to you. I mean, actually, it would. That's a big step for us. When you asked me that, I... Rose, I was ready. I don't know when I'll ever be ready. Is there someone who's all in? I don't think that's me. Kendo's shoulders drop at this statement. Truth is, it's too much pressure right now. Being someone something. Too much on my mind between you and Ash and the resistance. I can't do it all. And I'm so sorry it took me less long to tell you that. I was scared. 
news to me. Why were you scared? Because you love the hell out of me. And that's scary. My first canto didn't know what I was doing or what I was feeling. Amaryllis. Amaryllis. But I do know that you were the first person to ever make me feel normal. That was everything to me. So none of this is on you. It's not your fault I'm all fucked up. So we're supposed to choke up and finally tears escape from all crying sprite. I'm a freaking mess, Kanto. Please don't hate me. I don't want you to hate me. I can't handle that, even though I know I deserve it. Silver. Kanto seems taken aback by that. Silver starts wiping away the tears with his arm. I don't have to figure out how to spawn. Kanto places his hand on Silver's shoulder. Hey, come on. I don't hate you. I don't think this is working. I can't do shit about that. This has been a long time coming anyway. I was glad you were finally able to tell me yourself. Silver's ears flatten and he looks away. I just wish you had told me sooner. I know. I'm sorry. We only need to work on this communication stuff. It doesn't have to be this hard. But I'm sure my temper didn't help. I'm really sorry for yelling at you earlier and for how I've been acting. It was frustrating. After all the silence and good shoulders, I just... Couldn't take it anymore. And you went and kept this mission from me too? I'm sorry. It's fine. I get it now. Kanto lets out a deep sigh. It's been too long for me. It's been too, it's been too long for me. And you're leaving. Again. You don't have to go. Find someone to replace me and stay here. And you and me can... No, don't do that. You just finally start being honest with yourself. Don't start backpedaling now. A healthy breakup in a visual novel? Impressive. You have different priorities, and that's okay. I don't want you to feel bad about that. I'm gonna be fine, and I want you to be fine too. Yeah, I'll try. I really did love you, Silver. Did you know that I don't want to write around? But I should know that I. But you should know that I don't want to write around anymore. All this time, I don't deserve that. I know. Just do what makes you happy, okay? It doesn't have to be a thing. We can still just be friends if you want. Silver sniffles and nods. I like that. It's an awkward silence between the two. Stop looking at each other at this point until Kanto tilts his head to peek over at Silver. He nudges his arm with his elbow. Hey, you wanna know something stupid? It wasn't obvious. I was a little jealous of your roommate. It was. Obvious. So I just kinda became my punching bag for a while. What? Don't be mad. I already apologize. We talked it out. Hell, he's the reason you're talking to me now, isn't he? Little meddler. Silver shoots his flame with glare and Kanto flinches. At the moment, the fox gets up, gives him a light jab on the arm. He manages to laugh. I deserve that. I know. Intention broken, they both look up at the stars together. I think this is all for the best. You and I can focus on ourselves and stop worrying about this. <clears throat> but I'm gonna miss you, you know. You're still my favorite guy, Silver. Yeah, I'll miss you too. Just a moment, Kendo feels his eyes get misty. He turns away. He clears his throat and stands up, looking back down at Silver again. <sighs> Silver looks up at him, curious. I'm going to head back to my place tonight. I think I need a day to myself. Silver gives him a slightly dejected, dejected look, but nods. Yeah, okay. I'll see you tomorrow. You should get some rest. Yeah, yeah, I will. Kendall takes a deep breath and waves by to Silver before walking towards my direction. Once he reaches me, he clears his throat and speaks. I'm gonna go. Sorry. Okay, I'll be around if you need to talk to. Sure. Thanks. And he's walking towards the elevator, back to base. When he's out of sight, making way over to Silver, who's now watching the stars alone. You okay? Yeah, maybe. We can go back to the room if you want to. I think I'm going to stay for a bit. It feels nice out here. Want me to stick around? Nah, it's okay. You sure? First time this evening, he smiles reassuringly. Sorry, I think I just want to be alone for a bit. Smile back up, smile back and pat his shoulder. I think we're going to go spend the night at Ash's place. It's been a while since we've hung out. That sounds like a good idea. Yeah, I don't see you in the morning. I'll see you tomorrow night. You too, but you too, bud. See ya. Hmm. <sighs> Take that as my cue to leave and make my way back towards the base. I have to pay Vito one more visit before tomorrow. First step in the elevator, look back at Silver. 
was watching the stars again, but alone this time. Underneath the moonlight, his fur is glowing. He looks at ease. Good for him. Much more than I've ever seen him before. The hours passed by quickly. As I sign fall back on a bed, arms rolled out. The day was a lot more than I bargained for. He has more accommodating than I thought they would be. They already prepared a good amount of medicine for me to take on the trip. Yeah. Be just so reliable. Our promise still stands. Come back alive, or else. I intend to. I start thinking of the bigger picture after all. Presence needs me as needs me if needs me as proof of what resume is really like. I can't be wasteful with the remaining time I have left. That being said, I have something else to do for tonight. Nothing else to do for tonight. <clears throat> I've been pacing around my room for the past 30 minutes. It's nearly midnight. I'm too excited to sleep yet. I've gone over everything in my axiom multiple times. I'd say, I said I'm good on supply. I'd say I'm good on supplies. Hmm. Pull my axiom. And, oh my god. <laughs> well, the next day happened. Send a message to Aaron. Hey Aaron, if it's alright with you, can I come over tonight? It's just a sign that they have, like, robotic voice modulators or something. God, this video not This video novel moves slow as fuck. It's a bit annoying. Or you can have a coming out here, whichever you prefer. Gosh, honestly, at some point, I just want things to move forward. Like, God, come on, come on, come on. Don't think the prose is necessarily good enough to keep up with to justify such a slow pace. Honestly, I don't even think good prose can justify slow. Just can even justify slow pacing either. It's like my biggest issue with Robin Hobb's books. Like, at a certain point, I'm just like, okay, can you please hurry the fuck up? This doesn't need to be one... It's like, we've gone over what should be, like, half your book in one. It just kind of makes me mad. And send. It's kind of late, so I prepare myself for the chance Aaron might not respond. My axiom beeps not even a minute later. I'm pleasantly surprised, if a little shocked. I think it is going that slow. I have expect I have expected to already be on the road in the road in the um, next update after Lance spoke with um Darius. I do like the conclusion. I do like the conclusion to a uh, silver and uh, Kanto's relationship. Not necessarily a conclusion, but where that ended off on that. But is this really necessary? Seeing Cyrus hang out with Aaron again? It's not like this. The vision novel is short on that interaction. You've had a lot of it. Yeah. Honestly, Jujutsu Kaisen pacing is a little rocky, sometimes missing out on moments to, to slow down. There also needs to be moments when you do move things forward. I kinda, honestly, I kind of get why they, uh, uh, Gege chose, chose to, like, uh, skip over the, uh, the Godos on ceiling, that one month time skip. It was like, well, yeah, it would be nice to slow down, get some time for characters to talk things out and stuff. Uh, slow moments do not do too particularly well in Shonen Jump, so having it all be in medias res, in, in retrospective, where your characters go back, uh, where you see flashbacks to those moments, does kind of serve its purpose. Like, even right now in the most re- uh, Actually, I'm not sure if it's the most recent chapter. <laughs> actually, the TCB uh, translate it uh, yet? Uh, yeah. Um, and the spoilers, whatever. When we see uh, um, the shysty sorcerer, I forget his name, talk with Gojo, 
and then begins with a C. Don't see. Shoko and mm, ends with a Y. What his name is. Still pacing in a password. Okay, password generally does have a slow fucking pacing, though. That visual novel is long as hell. I go to open it my brow furrow and furrow my brow. Oh, they did translate the One Piece chapter, which is pretty nice. Mark three fat pacifista have all been in and cast incapacitated. Try a cruise escape. No, it's it's so nice seeing them say Emperor Emperor Straw Hat. Like my boy grew. He's he's a fucking emperor now. It's a message from Kanto. Hey, can you come meet me in fifteen minutes? Go to coordinates attached. Hey, what? Huh? I wonder what Kanto could want this time of night. <laughs> they do, they do bring up a good point. Bonnie's no more than a 12-year-old girl, and you gave her the power to eradicate nations? That's insane. Be responsible. I don't recognize the coins he sent me either. Where is this? What's up? Kenzo replies immediately. Don't worry about it. And don't be a wimp. You have 13 minutes. God. Okay, this is an, I, re, I read the manga because I, I don't fuck with One Piece animation. I watch the fights in post. That's it. Can you can you believe they um fucking didn't give Jinbei or Frankie uh, a, a statue in the recent set? Everyone else but the fucking why are, why are certain straw hats just the uh, what you call it? Mm. I chopped liver. I guess what the hell. Confused, I leave my room and head to one of the ports. When the port opens, I'm somewhat cautious. It looks like we're still in the building, but it's dark. Spoopy. The moon is the only source of light I have right now. Oh yeah, and then there's also Vegapunk's broadcast. The moon is the only source of light I have right now. The moon is the only. So oh, yeah, I was just like password, but the second starts in day two. I'm like, yeah, that might sound. <clears throat> I should play Moonlight Castle at some point. Is that an SFW? Like, come on, is an ad head because the fail safe fake a punk boom in his body. He's just doing that. Oh, yeah, well, didn't he like teleport himself to Egghead? I don't know. Is the laptop okay? Yeah, I can see the full rewrite. It's part of the reason why I'm doing a detailed outline of my visual novel is to avoid any major rewrites and overhauls. My boots echo throughout the halls as I look around. I peer out a nearby window and I still can't piece together where I could possibly be. It's good that One Piece is back after that break. Hope Oda is doing okay. Up here, I don't remember what it could possibly be. This building, wherever it is, seems to be in the middle of an overgrown forest. Oh, that's kind of actually kind of sick for a setting. I 
Villain. Honestly, you don't see forest very often in like stories. Just this like setting, then it kind of bums me out. Cyrus, that you? I hear a familiar voice echo through the hallway. Y yeah, where are you? Can't see a thing. Condense everything down into a single root. That's that'd be pretty intense. Would like I could see a single root being like as long as all the others though. Uh, Kanto has a weird place. Lights are lights down there don't work. Come upstairs. I'll his voice eventually find a staircase with some light pouring down it. With dusty handrails, I walk up. Is this where you live? See Kanto further down the hall. He nods. At, hey, oh, I don't know, he's casual wear. He nods at me to follow him. Now I can see better. Take it in the environment properly. There are wires and cords all along the walls converging in the room Kanto walked into. In the corner, I see him sitting. Oh, this is his place. Glad you could make it. Uh, sure, thanks for having me. I see all types of equipment I don't recognize throughout the room. Surprised how neat everything is organized. You and I don't know what any of it is. There are basic amenities, including a bed, fridge, and even a kitchenette. Even if I don't know what it is, yeah. We're gonna miss it. Welcome to my home. Make yourself comfortable. Ah, oh, haunted castle. I see, I see, I see. You know, for my original novel, we we're planning on doing like uh, 3D models for the sprites. Just a bit more distinctive. I nod. Curious, I tried to take on my axiom screen to see what part of the US we're in. One open message. I'll check that in a sec. Try to access the gate, I can narrow message. No network availability. Hey, uh, where the hell are we? Axiom not working. Candle smirks at me. I have to use the satellite. I have to use the satellites myself. There's no reception all the way out here. Kendall pulls up his own accent with the map. Shows me a landmass that looks a lot like South America. I can't hide my surprise. You live in the fucking Amazon rainforest? <laughs> uh, I guess. It's just a big forest to me. How did you end up living here of all places? One day when I was fiddling with ports, I stumbled upon this building. There's a lot of solar-powered tech. I was in disrepair when I found it. I mean, no one can hack axioms. At least no one so far, so... You, if you get a message on your axiom, you can, you're pretty sure you can trust it. Only a handful? That must mean I'm special in your eyes, huh? I chuckle and Kento rolls his eyes. Ugh, shut up. Don't let, me, don't let it get to your head. I can't promise that. Hmm, I had my first visitor today. Just had a friend over before you came. So she said, oh, he's a friend. And those eyes go wide. Uh, crap, sorry, I can't say, but you're part of the resistance now, so I'll let you in on a secret. Working closely with someone in covert ops who's investigating resume. We sometimes meet here to discuss private matters. Honestly, oh, so we've been working on something for a while now, but I can't go into details. Not yet. Oh, in that case, I'll pretend I didn't hear anything then. That being said, back on my eyebrows. Feels good to know you're comfortable enough around me to let me stuff like that slip. Ah, oh, but there was that one time you blurred out Silver's name. Alright, alright. You're not as funny as you think you are. Try to hide a smile by clearing his throat. Oh, well that's... God. Dude, that, that is a cute interaction. I am enjoying that. I am enjoying the bait and switch of this not being about Aaron, but with Kanto. If this was a manga, I definitely could see the, the chapter ending on like, oh, message from Aaron. Then being like, oh, it's Kanto. Seeing Kanto's name. I could, I can totally see that being a... I could totally see that happening. It's like, you see Cyrus message Aaron. Like, there's a, like a panel of waiting. The bleep. The, there's like, then the few panels, there's the beep. Cyrus turns and there's like a large spread on the final page of the axiom saying um Kanto's name. That would be that would be fucking oh god, that'd be like a perfect way to end a chapter. As in here just to give you a tour. Oh, I did not read that. But anyway, enough about that. I didn't go through the trouble of asking you here just to give you a tour. Sets up the cat gets up from the couch but doesn't elaborate. I see his tail swishing back and forth. I'm just gonna leave me just gonna leave me in suspense or Give me a sec. I'm grabbing it. Oh, did you fix the Game Boy or DS? It was DS, wasn't it? Kanto heads over to one of his many workstations. He tells me something in my direction, I, and I catch it easily in the air. There's your gamepad thing, or whatever. Should be fixed up. Oh wow. Went ahead and want to play some parts with its new efficient power source. It shouldn't last much longer now. Did you try it out? Like the game it came with? Did you play it? Nope, I haven't tried it yet. I'm sure it works, but I wanted to give you the honors. Wow, I like your confidence. Thank you, Kanto. Thank you. 
Thank you, Kanto. This will hopefully make the trip much more bearable. Hmm, yeah, well. Kanto huffs and looks out the window, still flicking back and forth. Aw. So you called me all the way out here to your super secret base just for this. I knew this dragon well enough by now. He has something he wants to say. Just gotta lovingly egg him on, is all. He grumbles. Okay, fine. I'm not gonna have another chance after tonight. He points to the couch. You sit. You I do as I'm told. Dragon walks over and plops himself next to the couch. Trying to act more comfortable, but he's still fidgeting. So, getting to it? I'm getting to it. Into the size, like whenever he's about to say, say he's causing him pain. I just want to say thank you. Seriously. For tonight, I mean. I will appreciate, I do appreciate the way this visual novel handles relationships. They are very well written, and I do like how uh, they incorporate the Anto character's physicality into their gestures. Like uh, Kanto's tail flicking, tail flicking back and forth. It's very nice. Oh, are you doing okay? Yeah, I'm good. Mostly. He sighs and leans back on the couch. Okay, it sucks. I know I said I'd already accepted it, but it sucked that it was over. But I still feel down, I guess. Yeah, yeah, I do feel Chinya has so Chinya is still very early in development, so just so keep that in mind. Don't like second release, but Chinya does have a good pacing, and I think it could stand to delve a little bit more into the relationships a bit. Hmm, no, it's, don't want to say it. Say it's doing poorly right now. I do enjoy. I did enjoy the talk with Otto and the talk with Tom's dad. I forget his name. I'm not upset, maybe relieved, but I'll be fine. I just need to sleep on it. That's good. I figured you'd take it better than Silverwood. Finally got him to open up before he got there. I think it helped a lot. Kanto smiles. No in hell you think I did I think you'd be the one to crack silver, but I'm glad you did. It was like the least I do could do is considering you two everything you two have done for me. Kanto leans close to me, resting his elbow against the couch. Looks over and then laughs. Funny, when I first met you, they're just gonna drag us down. He might have been the scrawniest guy I'd ever seen. That oversized jacket didn't help either. I smile and chuckle. Well, you've grown a lot, but you've grown a lot, but you've grown a lot, huh? Wahoo! Tom's. Tom's relationship? Oh, what do you mean? With. I forget his name. It began with a Y. It's from the fucking. Jakob. I was gonna say it's from the fucking Hebrew Israelites thing, Jacob. Yeah, they cut to black on that, but I, I could definitely stand to see more of Jacob. He's funny, uh, not necessarily funny, but it's interesting because he seems so out of place. I don't think I like to think so. Cyrus, I have a favor to ask of you. Sure, anything. Could you watch out for Silver? I can do that. Technically speaking, Silver's the one that should be watching out for me. That's not what I mean. Ooh, what do you mean? Anto groans. He's always working himself to death with all these missions. I don't get it. That's just safe. Isn't that enough? Would you take a break or something? At least for his brother. Actual... I can't read that. The heart's in the way. Don't get me wrong. I care about our cause, but we should be taking care of ourselves, taking care of ourselves too. Yeah, feels like he's got a lot more going on than he likes to admit. Don't worry, I'll watch over him. Thanks. Kanto looks away, and I can tell he's anxious. Take this moment to try and lighten the mood. Speaking of the mission, Titania said I should come back to the base until it shouldn't come back to the base until it's over. Maybe we'll see each other out in the field? The world's a big place. Who knows? Kanto points to my hand. Just remember now. Just remember. Now we know even axioms aren't perfect. True. Oh, that reminds me. Got a message I haven't read yet. Go to my notifications. Supply from Aaron. Smile. Hey, sorry, but I gotta go. What the heck do you have going on this late at night? Maybe you're the one that needs a break. That's exactly what I plan to do. Oh my gosh. Inside, I can spend the night at his place. Since since it'll be a while until I can again. Oh, I see. Can't the raises up brow at me. I can't help but blush. No sugar daddies. Too late. But hey, before you go, why don't you give your game a test drive? Oh, sure, hang on. Tetris minigame. Oh, 
Oh, that was nice. I, you can tell Cyrus is actually on a higher layer than Kanto. Because when it zooms out, it's at a slightly different, uh, slightly different. He's at a, it is a slightly different. That is nice. Oh, the familiar, yeah, it's a DS. The dice in my hands. Kanto's closer to look, and we both peer down at the screen. Kanto's casual wear is fucking great, to be honest. It's a good long look at the device, and I'm really staring at it for more than a few minutes. Kanto taps my shoulder. Uh, you good? Yeah, sorry, so you really fixed it, huh? Now I think I'd get to play it again. Just having a piece of my past with me is enough, honestly. I get myself nervous. Beats me. You're a sentimental guy, so I get it. Come on, just turn it on already. Okay, here I go. Flip the switch. Yo! Here from LA Chan. Something I haven't heard in centuries. Followed by a pause. It's a few seconds before the game's title screen appears. Right now, it feels like an eternity. Invasions and that's nice. Resolution. It does. A familiar tune starts playing that instantly fills me with nostalgia. Something I never thought I'd hear again. It's hard for me to hide my excitement at this point. Kendo chuckles and gives me a thumbs up. Proud of himself, no doubt. I feel a flutter in my chest. Memories of my childhood come rushing back. Warm and happy memories. Memories of dad sitting with me on the couch, watching me play the newest video game. Memories of dad trying not to laugh at my embarrassing amount of game overs. Like that, he was always there. Right it helped me when I had given up. Then would be the feeling of finally clearing a hard level of myself, and I was always thanks to him. Wish I could tell you how sorry I am for never getting a chance to say goodbye. Even when the world was ending, you were thinking of me. Thank you, Dad. I'll keep doing my best. Just watch me. That's so nice. That was so nice. We should save. It is finally here. Evening comes even comes in fast. 37 at night. As much as I want to spend the last day at home relaxing, I have more on my plate than I realized. I guess that's fine. No one is I do think they I do I'm gonna think Division Lab also itself agrees that eh, maybe we've been spending a bit too much time with Aaron, because there is that whole because Tyra's supposed to spend the night there and they did skip over that. Um, uh, I won't. I won't disagree with that. Seems like the people writing this novel do understand. Do you understand? Uh, do understand that? Um, I'll give them credit. I'll give them credit where it's due. Where it's due. Yes, that's fine. I not want to sit around and do nothing anymore. Looking around my room, I check to see that I have everything I need. We'll be back here anytime soon, so, to make, so I make sure my bed is nice and tidy for when I return. So I've packed up all his belongings already. I haven't seen him all day. I want to tie up loose ends, ends this time around. Guess I'll get guess I'll get to see my new haircut along with everyone else. Cool, no more ye ass haircut. I head to the bathroom to make sure everything looks okay. Thankful Karen was nice enough to squeeze me in for a last minute hair appointment. So I used to the white that I almost didn't recognize myself as I look in the mirror. Kinda like the black though. Just hope it does its job and fools any would be resume captors. Make sure my Arcadia collar is fastened and synced up with my axiom. Finally, take a deep breath. Alright, it's time to go. Head out the bathroom, head out the bathroom, out of my room, and close the door behind me. Lunar. The sun is starting to set. The members of my crew almost immediately. I make my way towards them. The homies! Everyone looks over in my direction when they hear my footsteps. Well, speak of the... Well, speak of the devil. Whoa, didn't recognize you at first. That's a look. What do you think? Different enough? I'll say. Doubt anyone wrecked. No, it's you at a glance. Don't do shabby, Cyrus. Might take some getting used to. I think... <clears throat> I think I did a pretty good job, if I do say so myself. Karen says with pride. Definitely. I'll miss coming to my favorite hairdresser. Aw, oh, Cyrus. She picks me up for a sudden bear hug. Not bad, Cy. Also, going to call you out, good old days. It should be CY, Cy, not SY, Cy. I'll be here when you get back, but after allowing little Fox Man over here until then. Silver rolls his eyes. I'm sure I'll manage. I tap out almost immediately on account of all the air in my lungs being squeezed out. Oh, sorry, Cy. Please don't. 
Please don't kill him. He hasn't even started his first mission yet. Hey, give me some credit. It'll take more than that to do me in. See? I knew I was, see? I knew I was being careful. I cough. It's time for me to throw down a face down. Oh, man. GX was so much fun because the GX dub was so much fun because they just had a wonderful time with it. It's not what I meant. That's not what I meant. Y'all share a laugh. For real. I look, y'all share a laugh. Look over the scenery again. Dust definitely looks de different compared to Dawn out here. Oh, yeah. The, this, the base is totally going to get raided while they're out. I can see, I can see it now. Silver and Cyrus are chilling, having a good time. Maybe a close call, but they get out okay. Is that like Cyrus learns how to bluff? Does a little lie? They celebrate. They go to one of the checkpoints to meet, to um, like talk back up with the resistance. And there's just like one, like one message from Aaron that like, yo, yo, the base got attacked. What the fuck? And they're just, they're just like, oh my god. And, both, and then the, the next chapter is just kind of Silver and Cyrus wondering like, hey, is the resistance still a thing? Are they going to like contact us? Because we don't know if they're okay. Like we shouldn't head back, right? Dust definitely looks different compared to Dawn out here. You no, know, with how often we hang out here, we could set up some park benches or something. I wouldn't mind. Gets too cold in the basement for my liking. You know that the point of the secret base is for it to be secret, right? We'll just say we're having a secret pin picnic if anyone asks. I mean, no when they do. I'll pour it over to find out how that goes down. Aaron speaks up. Just so you know, I'm not just so you know, I'm not gonna push you out of jail again, Yin Queen. As if you need to? That was a one time thing. For now. What'd you get arrested for? I blew something up. She blew up a resume research lab that was under construction. In my arm! Don't forget my arm. Like we could forget. Can I know Snickers before Karen gets starts to get fired? You know, there's a lot so many one on one moments in the visual novel that's kind of a kind of, yeah, it kinda of bugs me. Because they they are good at writing group dynamics. I can't understand why that it is kind of annoying to program in and stuff right in Renpi, so I kinda of get why. Relations start to bicker, Aaron claps his hands to get our attention. Alright, alright. Alright, alright. Normally I leave you guys to it, but the sun is going down. Silver, Cyrus, come here. We do as he says. Aaron plays a paw on each of our shoulders. You're going to do great out there. Remember, your remember, job isn't to engage in unnecessary combat. Job is to secure a source of low stars and run reconnaissance. That being said, I know you two are capable of holding your own out there. If you have the opportunity, you better kick some ass. Right. Wanna have it any wanna have it any other way. Someone is cooking bacon. Like I swear to fucking god, I smell bacon. <laughs> Good. Now I know it's not your first time, Silver, but since it's Cyrus's. Hell yeah, present time! Huh? Silver suddenly pushes something onto my chest. Here's mine. Hope you like it. What a good voice. He jobbed too hard. He smirks. Confused, I look about Aaron. Tradition that for your first time. Tradition. Yeah. It's a tradition that for your first time out, we each give you something. Give him a gun. Oh wait, I wanna go first. Cyrus is gonna flip. Uh, uh Karen, I don't think you. Uh, Karen, don't you think you should save yours for the end? What? 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 Why for? Well, how do I put this? Wouldn't it be a good idea to save the best for last? Karen gives a smug nod, granted nods. Oh, good point, good point. All right, then, continue. Smelling toast. We streamed all night, chat. This makes me nervous for some reason. Um, Aaron chuckles. I'll go on and open it. Uh, sure, thank you very much. I stay out, that I stay out of habit before feeling the box in my hands. It's kind of small, but heavy. On my lid, I see something shiny. It's a custom knife from a practice session. Say you could use the one while you're out and about. The blade isn't like any knife we've seen before. Reminds me of a small katana than a knife. I'm at the bottom of it as well. It's amazing. Thank you, Silver. I'll treat it well. I'll show you how to do a weapon maintenance tutorial on the road. I always gotta take care of your blazing. Make sure your blazing guns are taken care of. Look forward to it. Aaron clears his throat. I uh, tell you something too. It was last minute, but I hope you like it. Aaron sleepy sleep produces something from his back pocket. It's wrapped in cloth. I'm not the best at rapping, but feel free to take the handkerchief with you. Aw. Graciously accepts, storing it carefully into my axiom. Aw, you guys really didn't have to go through all this. Nonsense. Nonsense. You deserve it. Be careful, though. They're fragile. Plural, huh? Carefully unravel a handkerchief. 
Side is a weighty ornate box. It's in the ball of her hand, if only barely. Press the button in the middle and nod and do so. It's a music box. It opens, revealing a shiny necklace before music starts playing. Little gay voice. It's a music box. I want to get you a necklace anyway, but I thought you might want something to help you sleep. Camping can be tough. I'm going to take you to sleep, pull the necklace out to get a better look at it. I recognize that color from anywhere. It's a lodestar. It's almost like a blue pearl. Since you apparently used to use up the only one you had, I thought I'd get you another. I hope it'll help you out in a pinch. I already feel the tears rolling up, but I hold them back. Thank you, Aaron. Do you mind trying it on for me? I'd be happy to. We don't get to see Cyrus wearing it. Aw. And take the necklace from my hand and reach behind my neck to fasten it. Oh, the blue stone in my hand. It's clear polished. How shiny it is compared to your average piece of Lodestar. <sighs> it's by far the prettiest one I've seen. I can only imagine how much it cost them. My debts to him just keep growing. There. How's that? Perfect. Give the big cat an even bigger hug. And our last one for a while. A super bullet. It's cute. I'll miss you so much. All of you. I promise to write back as often as I can. It'll be gloomy without you, like I said before. Aaron pulls back to look me in the eye. I know you're going to do great out there. In fear, in fear of crying yet again, stay silent and nod. To close the music box, I pull my inventory screen out, placing both it and the knife inside. Aaron chuckles. Kanda comes up to me. Alright, Cyrus, I already gave you your gifts last night, so don't get greedy. Take this with you. I unlocked it, just like you asked. Kanda pulls out the pixel from his axiom inventory sphere. Consider this a consolation prize for showing up on time. Be careful out there, all right? Thank you, Kanto. You've been a big help. Kanto pauses and smirks. Just kidding. Huh? Kanto ruffles his hair with his paw. I've got one more thing for you. Uh, yeah, Kanto doesn't give me an opportunity to say anything. He pulls something else out of his axiom inventory. Passes me a rather large box. Sit down on the ground, not sure what it could be. So you open the top and then reach inside. It's a motorcycle helmet. Aw. Oh, wow. Did you make this for me, Kanto? Sure did. I had to do that. S Silver already told me he had a spare. But I have to admit, I'm going to custom helmet. This is amazing. Thank you so much. Aaron shuggles and points the direction behind me. Turn around. I don't... Turn around. I don't think she can wait any longer. Oh, what has she got? Oh! <laughs> Upon doing so, I see Karen looking antsy. She's tapping her foot while checking the nonexistent nails on her product's prosthetic arm. It catches us staring. She gasps. Is it my turn? <clears throat> Is it my turn? Looks like your time to shine. Go for it. New bike? Be right back. She bolts behind the rocks. Moments later, she wheels suddenly up the road. Yo! It's fucking sick! Ta-da! Who looks stoned? So, so, so. Your very own motorcycle! Ta-da! Ta-da, your very own motorcycle, she says proudly. Wait, what? Well, I can't accept this. This is too much. Of course you can. You're the one who helped me fix it up after all. Wait, this is the jungle we've been tinkering on with our within our spare time? Getting a closer look, I can definitely see the similarities. Sure is. Though I finished the rest of it on my own, so it could be ready for you. Karen tells the keys to me. I barely catch them. Believe me, you're going to need this if you're going to be gone that long. Only to have it, Cyrus. Way to have the means to explore the world the best you can. Dude, you're surely gonna make me cry, you know that? Ain't no shame in it. She comes over and smacks me hard on the back. You got a long road ahead of you, rookie. Make sure to enjoy every last second of it. R right. Now it's Silver's turn to clear his throat. Not to see the spotlight, but you weren't able to run maintenance on mine, too. Sure did. It's behind that rock, too. Couldn't drag them both out here by myself. Leave it to me. Thanks again. I owe you one. Give me some cool souvenirs while you're out, and we'll call it even. Deal. Be right back. Silver heads over to the rocks, and Kanto walks up shortly after. I spent all night making sure your helmet would be ready. It'll give you night vision while you're out and after dark. You can even communicate with your axiom. Hopefully, it'll help out. I'm sure it will. 
probably a bad time to say it, but I don't know how to ride a motorbike. Don't worry. Silver Park is back next to mine. You know it's going to be on the highway this time of night. We'll get you some good practice. And some self-driving tools, too. Still, you should learn how to drive on your own. No time like the present, right? That's the spirit. I smile, getting myself up before heading to my bike. Glad Kanzo got him a helmet, because this ooh, that's going to save his ass when he wipes out. Ready? I think so. No. I know so. Good. Silver slides on his helmet and hops on his bike. I try to do the same, but I have some trouble. Want me to help you up? For all time's sake. I chuckle. Sure. Just you wait. Next time, I'll be the one taking you on joy rides. Aaron starts to lift me up from under my armpits, gently setting me down on the bike. I look forward to it. I look forward to it. He leans down close to me, out of earshot. I miss you too, Cyrus. See you around. I blush, but smile happily. Take the handkerchief Aaron wrapped from his gifts and try my best to tie it around my neck. Aww. And smiles before heading back to stand with Karen and Kanto. Put my hair up as much as I can before sliding Ka Kanto's helmet over my head. Immediately, I see an interface pop up in the visor. Device sync available. Proceed? Yes. Can you turn on auto autopilot once we take off? Affirmative. Shall we initiate co-pilot ma mode? Mode with nearby contact silver? Oh, yes, please. Connecting. Put the key in the ignition. When the engine rev up for the first time gives me goosebumps. Yeah, it does. I do like this song. I was a bit too busy reading to mention it, but yeah. I can hear Silver in my helmet. No turning back now, killer. Shall we? Let's. I look back to the crew, waving. Please grab both hands firmly on, ha firmly on the handlebars. Make sure both feet are placed on the footrest. Autopilot will initiate shortly. Yeah, it did. Auto ah, okay. okay. So join myself and give Silver a thumbs up. And he returns it with his own. Silver starts to pull out, and I start to follow. It was slow at first, a little nerve-wracking, but I decided to start my new journey. Silver speeds up, and my bike does the same. Yay! Reminds me of, <laughs> this is going to sound really weird, but it reminds me of those directed tv uh, Cartoon Network movies, you know? Like the credit songs, you know? I was both right off into the sunset sky, look back one last time. I don't see them anymore. You paint them, I feel a pain in my chest. I keep riding forward, eager to prove myself to the pe pe eager to prove myself to the people I care about. That's nice. Arc, arc four, end. That was very nice. Don't skip the credits. Okay, okay. Flowers into part one. Okay. Oh, so that's what Cyrus looks like now. Okay, okay, okay. Uh-huh. <laughs> Remember the flowers RPG? So probably could make one with those. There's a lot of character designers. That other page designer, sprite and pixel artist, CG artist, promo and CG artist, BG pixel artist. It does. It do. I could agree with that. Merchandise designer, merchandise designer. Hmm. Lead composer, guest composer, lead composer, guest composer. Necro Valley YouTube interview. Aaron's bartender design, programming support. Beta testers, Rookie, Shatar, Casey, Orion, Tap, Beta testers, Full Perp, Horror Buns, Escort Server Mods, Auburn Press, Compi, Representative, Cooper's number one fan, Search, Italian Lamps, 
official China teams. That's nice. Lex Planer, studio operation director, Wow Wu studio merchandise organizer. That's nice. Patreon great supporters. Definitely. Axelberry, AZ, Cake the Cat, Casimir, Color Craze, Connie, EA, Wu, Pascal Fingram, Fruitclaw. Insane. Showing Pluto. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. That's nice. Afdan, great supporters. I'm like playing a visual novel that makes you want to work on your own. Yeah, Asteroids, Kazoo, thank you for your generous donations. I honestly had to put it off because I really had to fucking get this. Yeah. Over with the fucking YouTube video. I'm gonna get to finish the detailed outline. I really should get off my ass and do that. God, it's hot as fuck. Is the AC not working? Now they're leaving. Ooh, what is this? Lance. All alone. Thank you for playing. Please stay tuned for future updates, special link all over. Huh? Uh huh. Uh, because it's not even close, like a showable version. Don't even have sprites done yet. I don't know, if anything, we're still fucking working on, working on a lot of things. Hang on. Like, this is the detailed outline so far, chat. I'll probably just call it here. Frankenstein. Yeah, it's a work in progress title. Don't worry about it. That's a huge script. You say that like we're done with part one. I'm not even that's oh, we're not even done with part one. Well that that's not even the end of part one. Ugh. Oh, three new CGs. Oh fuck. Uh, I closed the game. Yeah. What? Is Google Docs shutting down? What? No, it's not shutting down. Free G Suite accounts. Ah, Doc could justify paying for that. No, no, that's an old article. Don't worry about it. Yeah, fucking. Mm, I might kill time until ten, until I work on the detailed outline because I really need to get to that. Probably gonna, probably gonna send the finished version to Dust. See what she thinks. Then hopefully we'll probably get to work. It. Then yeah, yeah, yeah. Hopefully we'll have at least a few sprites done by that point. So we're gonna so we can work forward on that. Not for me, it's only nine. No, oh, this isn't online. Oh, man. So, chat, what'd you think of Remember the Flowers? I really like it. Remember the Flowers has some great writing.
And it's also got like a, I can tell a lot of effort is put into it. Hmm. I do like it. Hmm. I uh, um yeah, if I was younger, it probably would be my favorite too, but eh, I guess I'm more in the mood as for like somber things like, as I get older. I've been loving the reading I've been loving the manga, the summary Hikaru died Hikaru. I think it Hikaru died. That's why I'm going for a similar ish tone, but eh. Eh, I get it. Things get things can get very, very, very long. Uh, um, it's not going to be totally honest. <laughs> I'm still not done recording. This video is not going to be a super long one. I'll just tell you that right now, chat. I've been very busy this week. Finishing up stuff. Fucking going to the DMV to get a fuck my, my learner's permit again. It's been a whole thing. Uh, I deserve a good rest, but we all know we all know good and damn well that's not happening. You'll get an you'll get another video next week. Maybe Kings of Hell. We'll decide when we get there. If chat doesn't have anything really more to say, then I suppose we should just fucking end things. Ooh. Thank you for being here, Jose SR, Go That Archer, Good Old Days, Law, Solar Knight, Mahogasaur. I should go back and finish Password, but that'll be very long. And on. Anything anyone else? Going once, Carlos Montiel. Anyone else? Going once, going twice. Choron, yeah. Oh boy, I'm probably gonna make another post about the furry kiss Mary kill uh, tonight, later tonight. So do be sure to check the community page for that. Anyway, nothing else to say. As always, Kofi and Patreon link in the description. Uh. Fucking do tune in on Sunday for the new video and do tune in on Monday for when we play more Anomaly Collapse. As always, this is Joe's Fury signing out. Oh, Tran, bye. Oh, this is Joe's Fury signing out. Bye.